yo, yo, it's your boy, Dirtbag Dan. You are watching the Dirtbag Dan show. Oh man, you stream just they fucked us. They put they put the big digital wiener in my bank account uh, via a four hundred ninety two dollar charge. Thanks, you stream for fucking just feeling the need to go in and take my money while I'm fucking on tour and shit. I woke up one morning and was just like, fuck. They didn't even like, there. you'd think that they'd be like, hey, you've gone over. No, no, no. no. They just, were just like, hey, you went over. They didn't even spit. About 782 the hours ago. And we're going to charge you for 50 cents of every single one of those hours. So that was kind of balls. And basically our only solution to this is to fucking... Um, do what we can to get as many of you to not watch live as possible. Right now, uh, we're fucking charging a dollar. So hopefully uh, you guys are or are not paying a dollar to fucking watch the Dirtbag Dan Show. If you are, uh, Abel's watching the Ustream feed. We're going to keep an eye on that, and we're going to like extra specially interact with y'all tonight. But uh, we have special guest tonight on the Dirtbag Dan Show uh, on the Paid Drugs Tour with myself. Rocked with me at Paid Dues. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cadillac Ron is in the building tonight. Yeah, repping that yeah, good, buddy. repping that good hemo rage. Uh, hemo rage is in the building. Uh, we learned a lot about. He's got this shit set out like he's a fuck. He's advertising <laughs> for them and shit. Like he's like, yeah. I am right now the biggest proponent of the the rage. This the craze that's been striking the gyms all over the West Coast. <laughs> Dude, this and shit is wild. Like he's like serious about his hemo rage, and uh, as a uh, to show respect. We, me and Skylar have not tried the Hemo Rage the entire tour. Uh, tour ended yesterday. We had the last show. It was two weeks of uh, grueling shows, uh, some in backyards for transsexuals. And uh, oh, we'll get indicted for that. I, hope, I feel like we all have been <laughs> indicted. I feel like my heart was indicted. But um, everybody uh, in attendance was actually guilty <laughs> just, beyond indicted. They, 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 they could have just sentenced. slapped the handcuffs on him and put him in the back of the paddy wagons right away, straight out the backyard. Yeah, they're already incarcerated. But um, uh, spiritually, basically, Ron uh, has been hemo raged up this whole tour. Just every morning, fucking uh, get hit in the gym and and making sure he's got a nice glass of hemo rage in him before we get get in the van and take yeah. a long drive or various parking lot. You know, uh, structures. Yeah, this full. I got. I got. Uh, we were in a CVS parking lot, and you know the the shopping cart things. Ron's just out there, like straightening them out. I thought he was gonna like drag <laughs> it across the parking lot, and then he's just like hitting them out there and just like staring at people how uncomfortably. With it. <laughs> I wish someone would have came and put their fucking thing back <laughs> behind you while you were just like looking. Let me up. work. Please, please let me work. Please let me work. <laughs> oh. So um, uh, tonight um, we're taking uh, uh, a bit of a break from our typical Dirtbag Dan show format, uh, and we're going to uh, we're going to talk about the paid drugs tour. And we're going to talk about paid dues, which was fucking crazy, and then uh, we're going to talk about Alcatraz, which myself, Cadillac Ron, and Caustic all have a battle. And Skyler. Skyler's going to battle too. I just ghost right. Skyler's ghost right. I'm, I'm for me for only. He's riding Caustic's whole JC battle. So if you like the material this time so around, so I'm probably gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Shots. not looking good for your boy. Not gonna go. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so um. Oh, you don't think I got it anymore? <laughs> think so I, I don't think we ever did. <laughs> we're we're like we're we're we're, po we're pulled up and and we got the hemo rage fucking. I'm uh, trying I'm trying to be the first advocate of of the crossbreed. Lino rage. I'm trying to lino rage. Lino rage. I want to patent it. So what's I up? Put a label on. Ice. I feel like we can't I like. Need ice actually. Explain the hemo rage to 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 the people. This is a a workout supplement okay. that I discovered at 7-Eleven on Sunset in Normandy. <laughs> actually, last year. Actually, the night that I relapsed before Vendetta, for the battle nerds. Uh, I was thinking that'd be funny. I was telling Skyler like to do. I wish there could have been a documentary on the preparation for Vendetta. Cause, uh, and then you just relapse the, <laughs> the day yeah. before the battle. And then like all this hard work, and I drank a hemo rage and went to a trap party. And uh, <laughs> next thing I knew, Did I was. Work? I was shooting heroin. <laughs> oh my That's God. the best reason to not be a vendetta I've ever. Heard. Oh, it's like I mean, it was all going good. <laughs> I was training. I had I had all my bars official, and then I decided to. Uh, I had actually called Caustic and read him my rounds. Yeah. And I, I had called Dead Man and read him my rounds, and everyone was like solid shit. Like 
I, fi- I got it together. I was like, yeah. Was, I'm sad that never came out. I'm like, it's going in. I'm like, like, oh, I've used them against everyone else yeah, by yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. All those bars. Like, yeah, it would have been. It would have been perfect that day, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. It just would have worked. No, it was. Yeah. There well, was something else in the cards for Young Lack. So what? So the so the hemo rage. So that night I drank a rage and it didn't work out so well, <laughs> right? So but I remembered like this time I was, I saw the hemo rage at a uh, 7-Eleven in the San Gabriel Valley, <laughs> and my friend was like, "I'm not drinking that. That shit's like crack." And of course, you know. So I'm like, "Well, I'll t- wait a minute. I'll it's give it like crack, try. and they sell it at 7-Eleven. I'm I gonna was, try this shit." I was experiencing results. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the fucking drug equivalent of like the tuna salad sandwich at this, the liquor store. This was like, said, I was experiencing results. <laughs> I uh, so I took the hemorrhage to some other like we drink a lot of energy drinks. <laughs> yeah, I remember before the hemorrhage or before at least uh, I was aware of the hemorrhage. I seen Ron. I can't remember where. Oh, was, remember it was when we were in uh, Salt Lake. And he had like a five. He had like a fucking rock star, and he like poured, I was like, What's a, up with this shit, he bro? poured a five hour energy in the rock star. He was like, yeah. he was like mixing different energy drinks. Yeah. We're like making combos. That so was actually a really good fucking weekend. You're just, so you were trying to make hemo rage essentially. Like this is like top of the line. What we found out was like uh, my friend Serp and I like. We drank it and we were so blown away by the rage that it was uh so blown away. It was like rage. we realized there was something we'll in it. By the so the, we went and do some research and found out that in fact there was a, an ingredient called DMAA, which is found in the Hooperzine A and the yeah. You could tell he, he the, was saying the, there's the methylexanamine, methylexanamine <laughs> and Hooperzine A. We're we're in Seven Eleven earlier and he's like. Now, see, this is the new formula because it doesn't have the Hooperzine A. Right. Like, oh, uh, okay. And I'm like, you can tell. Him, and I, he's like, you can tell. And I'm like, I can't, I can't see anything. Yeah, dude, dude. dude. Last night we're in the 7-Eleven. I see Ron in like an aisle and he's holding the whole box of this shit. And he looks at me he's like, original formula. Yeah. <laughs> you like pocket one and buy the rest. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. So, yeah, long story short, we got... we. On the way to the airport yesterday, we almost missed the flight because we were rage hunting in the valley. <laughs> and uh, this has actually become a thing. We spend hours driving around looking at for 7-Elevens. Rage hunting. Hunting for, or hemo hunting. <laughs> and, uh, that sounds so much worse. It's like, yeah. It's, uh, oh, shit. We basically, we bought out every 7-Eleven in L.A. And I had a feeling. I felt really good about coming to San Jose because I was like, this is like uncharted lands. Like, but you were telling me, too, you were like, if I miss the flight. Then I truly have a problem. Then with I have, yeah. I was run. I was cutting it close. <laughs> if he would have had to explain. And I, me. I had to smuggle the hemorrhage past TSA. So <laughs> it's, I'm actually, it's, I'm it's breaking, FDA. I'm it's, breaking the law because it's over the the liquid. Uh, it's re- four ounces. Oh of shit, bro! It's one. I'm gonna have to check my bag tomorrow. Because there's so much rage. Because there's so much rage. Because my bag is so outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> through the. Oh, <laughs> believe it or not, this th- tonight's episode is not sponsored by Hemo Rage. Although I feel like a lot of people are going to go out and try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, but in fact, <laughs> it's sponsored by uh, BCO Apparel, which you will see me rocking at uh, Alcatraz, which we're going to be talking about later. Fucking ba bang. But uh, Hemo Rage aside, which I am going to drink this motherfucking thing and see. We'll just see how like actively raged out I become. I want to try it. I want to see like what the Lino cross, Rage. The well, look, there's there's is. look there's spo- there's supposed to be two servings in this bitch we right now. Pour it straight into that. No, that's terrible. Uh, that would just waste. Just so down. you know that we were trying to get Rape Wolf to be the first person to drink the Lino Rage, <laughs> and he wouldn't. And I'm not saying that. that no, I'm not knocking Rape. Have he a was fucking just, heart He was very heart. cautious. He was like, I don't think I would do that, man. If like, Rape Wolf is conscious. Okay. How is yeah. that? How is that? Like, how is that? I feel like sometimes people will tell me shit and they'll be like, whoa, you did that? That's crazy. Why the fuck would you do that? And I'm like, I feel like I'm a cautious person. But then Ron tells me that like Rape Wolf was like cautious about doing something that I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, like wait, wait a second. Roll wait, it wait, over. Wait, wait, wait. The guy Ro- who's raping his name's not willing to Roll it over, bro. No did, you guys see, did you guys see the new video? I thought that was pretty good, actually. Which one? The... 
Isaiah Rabel Wolf and Harry Fraud joint. Oh, oh yeah, 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 the one where they're just all fucking doing uh, terrible drugs yeah, the fucking dude, whole time. That's that an amazing awesome, fucking dude. video, dude. I like yeah. this. Shit. That is a fucking classic <laughs> right there. I've, I, it's been out for a while, I think, but I remember the first I time just, I seen I it. I watched it like day. fucking four times in one day, not just because of the massive titties in it, but also because I was like, dude, this is, you got to see this shit. These people are smoking fucking cock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're yeah. fucking snorting fucking it sounds, it sounds snorting like filament it from is. fucking light bulbs and fucking straight putting like using a caulking gun and just racking it into a joint. And Dude, they're just like sitting on the floor of the liquor store like fucking drooling and shit. Doing some hemo rage, bro. They're just they're rawned out in the fucking in the GNC aisle of fucking Walmart just rolling around doing hemo rage. We were kind of pissed that Harry Fraud waited so long because he finally tweeted about that video. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I saw it. And I it saw was it like a year Fraud. later. Oh, and, no shit. That's and <laughs> we, we theorized he just was trying to avoid getting the shit kicked out of him. You know, oh, so, what? he was like, he he's was like, like, oh, I better, just I tweet better tweet about, about this, this shit. Because at least now we're like, hey, yeah, you tweeted about. All it. right, we'll all right, it. we'll give it to you. Wow, but you know, classic. Um, <laughs> so uh, good story. Speaking of fucking uh, moments where people almost got the shit beat out of them, uh, the paid drugs tour was quite amazing, and uh, we started it off at a very fucking interesting battle event. In the uh, in at the L.A. area, I just I just heard uh, about this. Last holy night. shit! Who was it? It was um. Uh, Banco. No, it was <laughs> it was uh it was Daily Duels versus fucking oh, Voice, Voice Box. Box. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit! What a like insanely unorganized and wildly like <laughs> just just cr- it was crazy. Like I actually was paid to be there to perform music. And cats were running on stage and just dumping their CD in because there was like so much chaos in between battles. It's and I was like, like yeah, we're going. And then they would just rock. Uh, yeah. Joe Cutter was one of those fucking people. And I'm like, I'm not going to fight to perform. Yeah. Y'all already fucking paid me. You missed yeah, the point. You money. missed the point of this whole fucking Cutter, situation. Cutter was loose. Cutter was <laughs> loose. He Cutter, battled. Cutter he, was loose. He eventually battled Alpha MC. Uh, How did that go? EK battled Vision. And, Hold um, on, let's talk about. Well, look, I get, I left because the shit was so many that I thought that that there was no way that that shit was happening, and it was like, is this the same night you battled the dude you're telling me about? No, 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 no that is different. that was a, a cr- another separate part that's of this fucking tour. Crazy. Also, voice box related. Yeah, but uh, like, no. So this night, um, we were just supposed to do sets. Ron no, did I was his supposed set. Supposed to battle Mr. Wilson. Oh yeah, and Mr. Wilson didn't show up. Mr. Wilson had canceled like. A couple of weeks out, respectably. Yeah, yeah, okay. There okay. some issues with transportation. Okay. Because he lives in like Newark and runs a battle league in Tucson. But that's the weirdest shit. Very in strange. The world. Mm-hmm. Oh, but shit. Uh, yeah, so I agree Correct. just to perform as well. <laughs> Man, I thought EK. Crossbreeding. I thought EK and Vision would be a hell of good battle because I had heard EK's bars and Vision uh, usually fucking comes with it, but apparently it, like it was just a fiasco of fucking. Just I heard it's just fuckery. Oh, yeah, bro. just fuckery. Just a bunch of fuckery. EK had the most amazing bar in that battle too. He what said, he, uh, he said, uh, even with my dogs around me, a calm surrounds me because I know this bitch won't let arms go. Ronda Rousey. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. Bro. That's, That's fucking, fucking amazing. amazing. Yeah. And and it was just like it was crickets in there over everybody's head i don't know who ronda rousey is oh she's, shit she's like this uh she's ufc champion yeah champion of the u she's a only female ufc champion and she's won Ever. every single one of her fights by arm bar okay. so I, this bitch won't you let arms stop go. it yeah this bitch will not let arms go so um uh did anybody in this room watch did you see cutter and fucking uh alpha no but um a close associate of mine had earlier that night had spotted Cutter on public transportation in the city of Los Angeles. <laughs> and I just thought that was a horrible sign. I just thought that was Because <laughs> they were like, yo, we met your friend. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? They're like, we ran into this like weird pirate looking dude on the bus. With fucking, he, said, he, said, he said his name was Cutter. And I was like, he said, I was like, what was he doing? And they're like, he said he was going to the battle. And I was like, whoa. And then as Cutter walks up, he pulls out like some Sara Lee pound cakes from his jacket. Yeah, with his full, <laughs> this like whole, this Danishes for me, days, he bro. He offered me Sara, these like Sara Lee strawberry Danishes. Strudel. Yeah, he's like, hey. He pulls them out and he's like a Ziploc bag with like individually wrapped Danish. <laughs> he had Entenmann's on the What do you say? He's all. <laughs> he's his all, sweet tooth was kicking. He said, hey, you want one? And yeah. I was like, 
No, man. Yes. He's like, see, I'm always trying to share with you. And he just shut, he like stormed <laughs> no, off. No, he told me, he's like, he's like, you want one? And, then, and you're like, no. And he's like, I'm always trying to reach out to oh, you, yeah, bro. You always shut me. me down. They just walked away. <laughs> He was like trying to make peace with me over something with like Dude, this fool had so, something you didn't know you were arguing about. This, this fool was, had delicious morsels. He had uh, <laughs> yeah. pockets full of of fucking strudels, bro. He had, Breakfast he had pastries. Strudels. You'd be like, "Yo, Danishes don't make it all right, man." It was like a, it was a veritable continental Danishes. breakfast in his in his leather jacket. <laughs> It was like super eight. He had a fucking he had a little like styrofoam cup with orange juice <laughs> yeah. in it. He had oatmeal. He's like this. He's like <laughs> little cereal starts dumping out of his pocket. Oh my fucking god! Okay, so that was weird and spectacular, and the start of our tour. Does nobody right. know what happened? I heard Joe Alpha. Cutter um, I heard Alpha back. One. I heard Alpha One. one. No hate to anybody. And what did he say? What did Joe Cutter say right off the bat? He looked like African oh, Bob. And when he walks by, first of all, he's like, "Let me spit you round one." And then he just goes <laughs> straight into round one. I didn't, I didn't say like, "Okay." You know, it just was, happened. He's like, You're gonna. <laughs> it just happened. And then uh, he sees Alpha MC, who is dressed in his like usual like fucking just wild like like Mad Max. He like looks African like African Mad he Max. He looks like one like, of the <laughs> gangs from fucking yeah, uh, the, the Warriors. Warriors yeah. and shit. Post-apocalyptic <laughs> black kid and play fucking bastard child. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the fucking like studded denim vest with like hand hand writing on the back. Oh my god! Mad like leather straps. <laughs> so what did what did Cutter say? Cutter's like quick, quick, quick. He's like, uh, give me a line about the Africa Bombata with the Benjamin Button disease. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. Cutter's on point. You're yeah. thinking he's gonna win, and then we hear he loses. That's yeah. terrible. Dude, Alpha was always tight as fuck. As oh, Alpha's tight, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smiley is what I call him because I've never seen the motherfucker with a frown on his face yeah. ever. He's always like. Ah. Like, That's that hemo rage. Beaming. Yeah. He was telling me, he was like, we need to go to these trap parties. He's all, <laughs> they're, he's all they're our whores. And I was like, I'm like, I'm married, bro. And he's like, they're our whores. <laughs> just like, so I was like, all right, man. I brought this Dude. chick uh, from the last rehab I was in. Like, we told her to come to a show, and she met Alpha MC. And she's like a nice, like, respectable, like, East Indian, black, mm -hmm. like, combination. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but she comes from like a good home and uh, she's like, oh, I met this really great guy, you know, and like, I was like, who? She's like, Alpha. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, do not sleep with him. You know? like, I was like, if you respect yourself, like, don't, just don't have sex with Alpha MC. What a bad person you are. And uh, I was like, I broke down the kind of like psyche of Alpha. I was like, yo, check it out. Like, you know, he's a rapper. Like, I, well, I was looking out for it. As a friend, you, he was like young East African girl. I was girl. like, yo, you be, you young East fucking, African you girl. You're with your other man. I was like, don't fuck Alpha MC, <laughs> dude. I could do it unless you wear clown paint. Uh, it was just <laughs> then like, you can fuck Alpha. No, it was MC. horrible because like the girls from the rehab had like never been hit on in like six months, and <laughs> so one of them was got Basics phone number, who like is a whole other conversation about <laughs> caustic, and they're like they think they met these like classy guys, you know. And I'm like, no, you went to a rap show and you got hit on by rappers, and like, and you, you went for it. I'm like, if you have any <laughs> self respect, dude, don't don't sleep with them. I'm like, most of them don't have jobs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was the first fucking wow stop on our tour, and uh, the next night we played at the basement with fucking uh, young fucking Can Stew in this bitch. Kosher Dills. Uh, <laughs> Kosher Dills came through and thugged. He came through that night, the first night, and thugged the set. He was one of those, those people. Um, if y'all ain't familiar with Kosher Dills, then you've probably never been to a hip-hop show before because he's been to every single one that has ever been thrown since about <laughs> 1993. But uh, Dills showed up, jacked the set. Next night we're playing at Basement 818. Kosher Those. Dills and this bitch shows up, mercs a set. You know what I mean? <laughs> and his buddy Aaron Cohen. What are you gonna do, Aaron yeah. Cohen? Go ahead. You're gonna yeah, you yeah. want you Kosher Dills brought you. Apparently you're hot. Ron's like, yo, this dude's buzzing right now. I'm like, I I don't know anything, bro. I was like, I have no like, am I? Do people say that about me when I'm not Since around? And he's like, show, no, they're definitely not saying about that. I'm people, like, okay, <laughs> all right. Woo. People have like hit me up though. They're like, oh my god, you did a show with Aaron Cohen. I'm like, and dude, I'm like, he came. I never like, heard of Aaron. You mean Cole. Like, are you talking about like the four foot dude? That I don't. Came I have no idea who us? you're talking about. Like, but yeah, a lot of people that are super into like uh, the you know blowing up avant garde scene. They were like, is that what it, it's like? The it's like everybody blows up every weekend. It's like that who's scene. about to blow? You know who's like the blogs are talking about. Yeah, fuck, man. Apparently, that Aaron Cohen's blowing up. Okay, That's all right. Well, he was just like street. doing a show with us, like just right. He, him, and Kosher Dills came in, just like basically 
thugged our show like some Somalian pirates and shit, dude. They fucking hopped on board and fucking took their coffee beans and fucking shook spot. Yeah. And then was disaster uh, there? No, d- actually, dude, did Diz know. rolled by. He drove by. He sent Somalian and he was like, pirates and he in was the like, area. He was like, "Hey, what up? I'll be right back." And he never fucking came back. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then he like hit me on Twitter. He's like, "Sorry, I didn't come by. I was kidnapped." And I was like. All right, well, our show was hijacked. You were kidnapped. Fucking Somalian shouts pirates. To, shouts to the San Fernando Valley for fucking pirates. just be, just all sorts of fucking Audio. trickery, yeah, debauchery. It was, a, it was a weird night. It was it, it was all right though. I wasn't mad. We had no. an audience. Yeah, fucking cool. uh, what's the dude? What's that freestyle rapper with uh, autism? Yeah, that oh, dude. Academic A. Academic A, bro. I dude. want I want to sick that motherfucker on a bunch of different uh, people. Like, I've got I've got fucking. Have you seen that dude battle caustic? I, I have no idea who that is. Academic he is A. Like, he has like he's like hardcore. Asperger's. Uh, Asperger's. Like, like out the game. Like, <laughs> like out the game. Like he's like Chief Keef on his worst day ever. <laughs> like but he like can crying rap. in juvie court. He oh. can rap, dude. And he freestyles like total madness, stream of consciousness, just like <laughs> craziness. And like I kinda miss that shit like on occasion, just that one dude at the show who's just like saying anything that comes to his mind. But he's like, sick he he, he wins a lot about it. I've seen him beat rhetoric. <laughs> like <laughs> and, and <laughs> broken complex. <laughs> I've seen him beat like uh I've seen him beat some semi respectable people. <laughs> I bet you guys just gave rhetoric hell of shit about I think rhetoric <laughs> gave himself hell. He punched think about life and shit. He was like He's fun like, fun fact, I almost lost a rhetoric one. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. I don't think yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh That was know. a fucking intense week too. Do you remember when we met the fucking the wild animal expert from Wild Boys? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Restaurant? You know the guy the guy who always is Crocodile Yeah. Yeah. No, that he's like his like name's Manny or whatever, and he's with the Wild Boy dudes. Long gray hair dude. Yeah, yeah. long gray hair dude. Yeah. He's like miss. He only has like three fingers yeah. on one hand. And, and I shit. got him to throw up West Side with yeah, it. Yeah, we I got him like, to throw up the picture and throw up the dub. Yeah, we were in uh, Miami at some random restaurant. And he was just like sitting there by himself, <laughs> and I was like, and, and Costic's like, hey. You're you're that you're that fucking dude. Huh? <laughs> what, I was He's like, like I was leaning back. I was like, hey, you be fucking with snakes and shit, huh? <laughs> you be fucking with snakes and shit. <laughs> I said, you do that shit. He was like, I absolutely do, sir. <laughs> but uh, uh, so that was a that was an interesting night. And then the following Monday, we drove all the way to fucking uh, El Paso, Texas. Um, Super Eight in El Paso is the shit. Just a very classy motel. They had a. a Ron was able to get his hemo rage and burpees on fucking effectively. <laughs> we actually at the Ooh. Super 8 hotel on that Tuesday that we arrived. We fucking we got hella shit done that day. <laughs> Skyler did seven oh, tattoos, like six. six tattoos on Ron's leg. Uh, one of them was uh, a signature of when Ron sold his soul to the <laughs> devil. Right. Um, uh, he did. Uh, he did fucking a dagger. He did fucking. A, the fucking Burst eagle foot. claw, bunch yeah. of shit, man, a bunch of shit. And then uh, in the other room, the Fail Face kids were recorded like four songs. I did a verse for Acres, fucking shit. I and did then, a verse even that night. <laughs> Caddy yeah, Ron did a verse after the show at like six in the morning, technically yeah. the next day. Um, you did the blog. I did a blog uh, for the an update for the Kickstarter and shit. And then uh, we uh, released all that shit all in the same day, all while sitting in a fucking. Uh, I was sitting in a hotel. Yeah. So uh, shouts to the Super 8 Motel for being a very classy establishment and letting us conduct tattoos. And uh, fuck, what's the homie's name that brought us those fucking super Domes cracking boogie. domes, yeah. bro? Domes, yeah, domes boogie. Domes. Shouts out to domes boogie. Yeah, he came and in. his homie. Yeah, they came through and they the, brought the us quiet one. They, if, the quiet ones always have the best horchata. Yeah. So they brought us uh, <laughs> some. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> that is a weird. That's a weird. Analogy. I just noticed it, bro. I just noticed. But uh, uh, amazing <laughs> Mexican food in El Paso. And then we had an awesome show on a fucking Tuesday night at this place called the Tequila Garage. A little cutty bar. But we had like fucking, you know, almost 100 kids in there on a Tuesday just gigging. Hell of merch sales. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good fucking. I uh, sold more merch than Cap Callis. <laughs> just period, and it's, that's all that Cap matters. Is, is living <laughs> off his merch sales, but I that night. I but spent, that night, I was Cap Callis. I was night. for a night. I was Cap <laughs> Callis. Um, uh, that was a fucking good show. Uh, and uh, shouts out to everybody in El Paso. One of my favorite fucking tour stops. What happened to this, this motherfucker? Oh, 
Yo, our Woo! mic. Yeah. Yeah. And you wonder why we fucking need equipment in this Pop bitch. Pop the hemo, I'm sweating. Pop the hemo, I'm sweating. <laughs> My heart stopped. Um, sorry, Rape Wolf. I beat you to the punch. I really might pour this in this fucking. Oh, that's here. crazy, bro. Lino, uh, we'll it. call you Lino Wolf. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> was, uh, uh, what? No, I was like so Sounds raised like earlier when we were watching the Aryan Brother bit. documentary. Because <laughs> this fucking Facebook conversation has degenerated into like it's gonna like oh, cause bro. a fight. I Dude, think, pretty soon. there is a pretty crazy Facebook conversation yeah. going on. Aspect and called me a faggot today, and uh, I've I've been I've been calling. Uh, uh, Wait, call what him. happened? What happened? The, in, the, in, in, the, in the thing, I haven't looked at it. In okay, a while. I've been calling. I've been calling Malathion young hair plugs for how long? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, why don't you throw another failed voice box event? And he's like, Dirtbag Dan versus Foul Kilmer. And I'm like, all right, baby hair. <laughs> we're just. We're just <laughs> it's bad, bro. Yeah. It was supposed to be a conversation between like really lush and aspects and, and, and yeah, <laughs> everyone should just to, leave like, the conversation. It was about getting the flyers. It was about picking up the flyers. <laughs> thing you know, germ free's porno went worldwide. Yeah, germ free. We spent. Germ, we turned germ free into overnight fucking cholo gets <laughs> fucked hard. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Joel, like it's that hard. shit. Yeah. See, that's funny because that happened right around the time in the tour when we were leaving El Paso, Texas. That was when we were on yeah. the way to Albuquerque. It all comes back. This to fool shows free. up. This fool shows up and he's like, "Hey, you you, you want to see some germ-free porn?" And he just shoots the link. Rape Wolf sent me the germ-free. Porn. <laughs> Rape, <laughs> Rape, Rape Wolf is yeah. a legend tonight. Coming through. Uh, so Rape Wolf finds the germ-free porn, sends it to Caddy. Caddy sends it to everyone in the van. Ek starts propositioning her via DM <laughs> on Twitter. He's like, "Hey, so." I'm an aspiring uh, filmmaker and fucking so on and so forth. He starts talking about his his travels on the on the, on the, on the, on the salmon, salmon boat, boat and, and all the money like, he makes. And yeah, now he's, so like, now he's a commercial rap. as he, as now he's a commercial oh fisherman, God. so he can afford to dabble in things like pornography. And he's oh trying shit. to and he's propositioning germ free. And she's like, "No, my my boyfriend, uh, my ex boyfriend, put that online." And he's like, "And then we're like, yo, ask her why he was twerking his nipples all crazy." Yeah, for anyone who Nipple hasn't shocking, had dude. the unique privilege of watching the film it's uh like in, at some point in the video this dude's arm is like taken over by like a, a nipple hungry demon and he like it like contorts this weird and he busts like the fucking craziest like fucking this it fool. was a shocker, bro. He's throwing a shocker, he, right? He's, he touches he's both trying nipples to like, at the same he's time, to like bro. Hold on to her with one hand, but then he's just like, oh, yeah. he's trying to get both of his nipples like that. That dude's. Yeah, look at Rory right now. He's going through <laughs> it's, it right now. It's, yeah. So, so. Uh, yeah, he's just doing like the smack on himself. I don't oh, know. But this conversation on Facebook. Uh, at least a day of it was just talking about the germ-free porn and why is this dude twerking his nipples so much. It's, like, it's all about Caustic was killing me because he's like, what's up with her hating the jizz? It's like <laughs> she can't handle the jizz at all. <laughs> it then, seemed like ran away from And then it. these fools are like, these fools are like, oh, he's, she was like he was spraying spiders on her. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If I get one spider on me, I jump up and fucking <laughs> run around. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit. That bitch acted like it was like a tarantula. I'm like, seriously, dude, don't don't let homie point the, the dick at you if if you're not. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, that's the last thing I want to see. In, Yo, in rap music's gonna be going wild. I know. Tomorrow. We just kind of shut this shit down. <laughs> rap music's gonna be going wild. Oh, this is the Dirtbag Dan show. This is why we are the best fucking. Uh, podcast in the history of battle rap and this is why you stream is trying to fucking fuck me oh, we'll get we but will get indicted for this germ free will become famous <laughs> she's a lot more famous than she was a week ago <laughs> that, that that's for damn sure co-hosting the megadeth battle and fucking uh, yeah. so everyone's gonna see her at fucking at at uh battling at she's fucking battling alcatraz. At alcatraz. she's yeah. battling bonnie godiva at alcatraz Dude, and if bonnie godiva doesn't throw the fucking shocker at her own nips during that battle bro like i don't know like i'm i'm I, if I want to co-host that battle just so I can be in frame the whole we time. Should add, we should get the dude who's in the video to be there <laughs> at the battle to walk in during Bonnie Godiva's round and just mad dog germ free. And just start twerking. Just tweak that nip. Start tweaking his nips. 
<laughs> oh my it, god! The only way Germ Freak can pull herself out of this horrible tailspin that she's created for herself <laughs> is to reference the battle herself. She's got to bust yeah. the craziest eight mile. Like I am trolling like as fucked yeah. hard. I do live in a motel room with, <laughs> with the alien. <laughs> You know, I, I do have a friend that tweaks his nipples. He is an Uncle Tom. I do. You know what I'm saying. Fucking like Papa Doc, that shit. She, they don't know what. They, they don't know what the fuck to happen, dude. Germ free. I hope you are gonna heed my advice. Do it or die. No, seriously, that's the, that's a winning strategy. Like, no, no bullshit. If you're watching this, um. <laughs> the way the way you're, you're yes yes germ free if you're watching this the way you're going to win this battle is go you're first. going to ownership take you're going go to first. take respect you're gonna you're gonna take respect like you didn't take respect for that load that was fucking shot at you and you're gonna fucking just let it hit you in the face this time Web you know what i'm saying web, web redemption, redemption. Uh, i think yeah. we should i think web redemption with ek we should set that up and then you know what i mean and it's he possible. could just be the lizard king all <laughs> yeah. over the, that would be the weirdest fucking movie. Oh ever made. god, I don't watch those. Uh, I see. I'd, I'd, that would look like heavy metal or some shit. Like, you know what's funny is is that fucking you know Corey Sharon has seen the QP and the fucking hollow hand porn probably like forty two times each, <laughs> but has but never watched the germ free porn. That's terrible. Who? Sharon. Corey Sharon. Oh really? I was asking him at uh, at the world domination event. What do you think like, Isaac Knox watches? Jesus, I don't even know, man. Jesus is probably right. <laughs> Jesus is probably right. <laughs> <laughs> the Christian side hug. No, you know what? And, like, Topper's, like, uh, Top, Topper thinks he's, like, flogging himself in his room and, like, all sorts of craziness, you know what I mean? Like, Dude, he's on I some, like, crazy. He's, like, thinking of his, like, back on his fucking days in the choir and shit and getting fingered and just flogging himself on his bed and shit. Oh, man. <laughs> That's terrible. Holy I'm sorry. Shit. I'm sorry. That just Isaac. got real that for a minute, hard. though. <laughs> that was terrible. This, this shit just got incredibly real. Right? I'm sorry. And we got so far off track. Um, yeah, what were we <clears> talking about? Albuquerque was a great show. No, <laughs> no the conversation. Oh, uh, Facebook the, the conversation. Facebook conversation, because it related to the, to the the conversation we had in the van on tour. But yeah, man, this Facebook conversation is out of control. I don't know who started this. Look, I got the flyers. They're here at the studio. Uh, I'll get them to Pariah and fucking he'll get them to somebody else. But let's just stop all this right now before freaking. I mean, Go ahead. oh, so, oh, no. Yeah, the hemo, first hemo Lino rage. rage. Lino rage. OK, so check it out. Uh, it's the same color. It should be all right. Uh, wrapping up this paid drugs tour conversation because I feel like Ron is just fucking taking this to a fucking magical place. Uh, that's it? Uh, that's, that's all that's left. Do you want to just fucking... Uh, Albuquerque was a good show. Let's try this shit. Albuquerque was tight. Burt's Tiki Lounge. Uh, we shut shit down over there. Drink the whole thing. Myself and Cadillac Ron. Yeah. Uh, you drink the whole thing now? Yeah. Otherwise, that's a, we're not going to know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a field test. Shouts out to a uh, pizza boy Mata, I think it's his Twitter name. He fucking brought me wife beaters at the Double Tree. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Somebody brought. Uh, I think he's on my fucking Xbox shit or something. Pizza boy. It. I'm yeah. gonna use it real fast. I couldn't get him into the show, but he cooked up the fucking wife beaters. One of which I'm still wearing a week later. Cheers. Good man uh, for bringing. Shouts that. out to pizza boy Mata. <laughs> so look, this is something. Um, bef <laughs> before we move forward, this is something I learned about these. Uh, Micro vaped vaporizers that you might not know. This is your standard uh, uh, like when I'm bong right here. So what I could do is I could put this fucking white. vaporizer right in the fucking <laughs> bong, <laughs> and I just fucking all powder. Pour straight in the cup. <laughs> it's like two drops of water in it. Ah, oh, damn it. It didn't work, and I got bong water in my mouth. But uh, cool. you could take fucking bong rips, fucking uh, through these uh, micro vape vaporizers, and no, it's pretty it fucking. It, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty it fucking amazing. But uh, um, uh, what came after fucking Albuquerque? Uh, oh Tucson. shit! Oh. Okay, it's oh, like yeah. a whole episode. Oh man, I want to know about this shit. Okay, so uh, fuck Ron. <sighs> You start. You you, you uh, explain this. We roll well, into Tucson. Well, we check into our hotel. Two days before that, we're in uh, El Paso, mm -hmm. 
and I get a, uh, that, you know, phone call that you get when it's like, oh, hey, you know, T2 Good was in a car accident. And I don't even know who T2 Good is in the first place. But uh, so they're like, the battle is canceled. Yeah, so hope, if, hope you're all right, bro. <laughs> yeah, if, if you were, in fact, in a car accident. Um, if that's your real name. But like, so there's already this kind of ominous feeling about the event. Then we find out. Uh, last minute, the venue's changed. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly, uh, we no longer have a venue. Right. Not only does Ron not have a battle anymore, we don't have a fucking venue to perform at either. So uh, he's like, what we could do is we could fucking, uh, we'll set up a house party, and right. then you guys can, uh, we could record at the studio. Um, right. which is fucking grimy L's house. It's not a studio. Like this is a studio. This, the, yeah. the, the, it's Grimy's house. You know what I mean? If there's a living room there, a backyard, uh, and fucking, uh, and your baby mom in the living room, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like seriously, like God bless Grimy. He's the man. And, and I'm sure he would have whipped us up pancakes and everything, but it's not a fucking studio. It's your house. That's what I would have said. I would have said, come to the homie's house and record. I wouldn't have yeah. said come to the studio. Cause that's just fucking weird. When then you can get there and you're like, Wait a minute. There's a driveway here, or a yeah. garage door, and a fucking you know what I mean. And Chuck scrambled to pull it together. I mean, he got some house, and he I put some pressure on him to get a PA. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we were informed that the party was going to go off without a hitch somewhere 30 I've, miles. I've played house parties, man. I'm like, fuck it. We're on tour. I'd rather play a house party than fucking not play anything. You know we had I mean? also been paid already. So. Yeah, we already got fucking paid. We got uh, you know. our money came in advance, so we were ready to go. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, after the first fiasco with the voice box daily duels thing where I actually didn't even get to perform, I was like, well, fuck that. I'm going to, you know, I want to do a set tonight. So uh, we show up and it is indeed a house. There is indeed a party. Uh, what kind of party? Well, well there was a there was there were some people out front, and it was semi promising. There was enough cars parked on the street, so right. uh, uh, we proceeded into the backyard to check it out. Is uh, on our approach, I <laughs> not, like uh, out the starboard <laughs> side of the of the, of the van. Nice. I noticed. Uh, of transsexual, <laughs> Let's just go ahead like and put out yeah, yeah this, I mean, this is on some like. Prison I said life. I think that's a transsexual, and like I grew up in Hollywood, you know, like my father used to show me, oh look, that's a transsexual, you know. It's like when you grow up in L.A., you see transsexuals more frequently than most towns, unless you're growing up in Thailand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> so probably like where it's second like only where you have Thailand. like three cousins that are trannies, and your mom is like friends with trannies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, like, there's this transsexual, and it's not like you're, uh, you know, this is like a brolic ass, like, yeah, prison like, wife. Like, no, like, uh, this like, is like throw your man boobs in a bra and no put some confusion. Eyeliner on. Like, you know, you couldn't, like, the drunk homie wouldn't get head from her. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, like, this is like, do that. It wasn't a, like some, like, like Taiwanese confusion shit. Yeah, that's at a all, fucking, in any way, shape, or that's, form. that's a horrible looking Mexican man. <laughs> like it's not at no point was he ever close to being a woman and that and this is the thing is we get there and it's just a bunch of fucking nerdy dudes and uh there's like three four chicks there all all clearly girlfriends and then we realize one of the four to three chicks is clearly a transsexual like right. without question which is like that's fine if it's that kind of fucking party you know what i'm saying but like but there's just, no is it, is it fun <laughs> no i mean <laughs> they're saying if it was an all tranny party it would have been cool you know i i, I mean fuck I, <laughs> no, like, I mean if you like randomly saw a tranny at a party where there's like a thousand people you might, yeah you might be like oh, i'm that's, asking that's you tranny. you walk in yeah. say you yeah. walk in and it's a full tranny party do you do the show I, you know what? You already I'm, got paid. I'm almost like I like it's we it's weird, but it would be less weird than there just being one like brolic ass dude tranny there. Right. Yeah. And I would be like, okay, it's a tranny party. They, these trannies like hip hop for some money, reason. Yeah. Like, let's get down for these <laughs> trannies. They it probably would have been a good time. It probably would have been enough of them there to fucking to like vibe out. I bet this we would have sold of, like, merch at the tranny I bet party. we would have sold hella tranny merch. Yeah. But like instead <laughs> they can buy so XLTs. Instead there was just XLR one XLR and there was no explanation for it. There Not only no that, but she's with a fucking like 
obvious like black gang member. Yeah, yeah like, like he like, was like like member, straight dude. black thug dude who's like wifed up with her, like holding hands, holding her like, like around the waist. Like, this is it, my chick, and she like and and she showed up in like basketball shorts. It wasn't yeah, and like, a wife beater. Yeah, and a wife and beater was like and much bra. bigger than the dude that was like yeah, holding her around the waist. Dude, holy shit. And we don't. <laughs> it's like, and like, and there's no explanation for why this is happening or why nah, this is. Nah, more t- tell me about the other shit. Tell me about the. You're supposed to battle that. Well, no, but how, okay. So look. What, so I. What would, happens? What do I do right away? Who Ron? invited her? What do I do right away? What do I do as soon as we <laughs> like, we peep the scene? I want to trace the text message trail back to the person that <laughs> invited the person that knew the tranny. <laughs> so look, I, uh, I fucking. Um, I go back to the van, bro. I'm like, I'm not getting out of the van, man. Dirt turns around <laughs> instantaneously. And I go to the van. Oh, my God. I find him in the van. I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, I'm not fucking going in there. He's like, he's like, you think I'm going to be caught on camera in this fucking tranny fiasco? Like, I'm like, fuck, dude. Probably those exact words, too. And, like, <laughs> and, then, and then so Ron's like, Ron's getting paid extra now to battle Masferatu on some like last minute shit and Ron's like well, he sees the, the detriment to this situation so he's like fucking uh, yo I'm, I, I'm gonna try to talk dude out of this shit so he goes and he talks to him on some nice guy shit and I'm listening I'm in the van I can hear him having the conversation with him and for like five minutes Ron's like yo we can do this at another show I won't charge you you fucking come out I'll set it up I'll, at one of my shows in LA or we can do it when I'm out here doing the show just to where there's an audience and where you know what I mean like basically that's- any situation that you could think of if we battle in a Burger King parking shit. lot a month from now, it'll be better than as long as it was like tonight. tranny free. Yeah, I mean, I mean, or there or, should probably be a couple there. This or time. tranny yeah. full. Like I think that's what we've realized in this conversation. There is, either needs to be Dude, all trannies get, or 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 no trannies. You, know you can't just have. You can get Keisha in the headline. You can, <laughs> you can do the whole shit. It's gonna work. So um, it's gonna work. Uh, five minutes. Ron's having this conversation with the dude, and the dude's like, "Fucking." No, oh, but I, I mean, he did. Yo, do the he shit, did right? pay you, right? He did pay you. He's like, I kind of still want to battle. And Ron, like, without even hesitation, is like, "All right, then, let's go right now." And he fucking walks him, <laughs> walks the dude into the backyard, and fucking just Kimbo slices him, just annihilates him, dude. <laughs> One round, he's like, "Why is there a fucking tranny here?" And like, everyone's like, "Oh!" And it was so uncomfortable. They were cheering, but they didn't. They all know. cheered, and then it got quiet after. I got. I like felt it out though. Like I asked. Most of the people on the tour first, I'm like, all right, I got to reference the tranny yes. in the battle. And I said, yes. I'm I like, said, no, without I, question. If I bring up the tranny, are the blacks going to jump? You know, like, he said, are, I was like, I was like, are first, they gonna, I was like, are first, they, you like, got to stop calling them the blacks. That's probably <laughs> that's probably the first step to not fighting. But you know them. what I mean? I, I, I did know what yeah. you meant. Exactly. Yeah. Like, because I'm thinking, you know, this, this is like, this is deeper right. on some prison shit. This is like, they, they might have met. On, <laughs> this is on some prison this shit. This is like this dude. Like, we were trying to psychoanalyze his mentality of like coming home with this wife that he's found. <laughs> it's like, and just being like, hey, homie, like, I fell in love, dog. Like, I fell in love, dog. Like, yo, dog, she's a rider, dude. She's like, a rider. Like, this is my chick, bro. Like, so I'm gonna disrespect the tranny. I don't. I want to make sure I'm not gonna get fucking jumped by these angry yeah. guys in the back. Nah, there. that would have been. I would have told you to do it 100. percent Yeah, we, we all we, we all agreed. <laughs> we all agreed that that was that the course same, of action. Just the, the fuck same out of that conversation I had with madness. <laughs> <laughs> we just the fuck out of that back. No, and it was like that. So I stayed in the van. Ron, <laughs> Ron Kimbo slices fucking Masferatu in the in this fucking backyard, and then fucking just. The, just walks out immediately, hops in the van. Everybody gets in the van. We fucking we fucking murk out, dude, just like that. Yeah, and Masferatu fucking should have listened to me. And like Dan was there, I wasn't trying to trick him or no. I was giving thought, him. A, I was giving him an opportunity for career and he advancement. Up cause he's like, he's like, oh, I feel. He's like, oh, Ron's scared. Oh, yeah, you're he's good. Like, oh, you fucked up, bro. You fucked up. And <laughs> you shall remain a Tucson joke as, just, as a result of your poor judgment. And, dude, wait, and what, was, what was his name? Not only that, Masferatu. This, dude, <coughs> this, oh, this, this, I this. found out he's also a steel drummer. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> literally, on his Twitter bio. Shouts out to Masferatu. It says, uh, <laughs> it says rapper, writer, yeah. steel drummer, and it's, punctu- it's punctuated punctuated like that, you know, like. What wait. is a steel drummer? Hold on. It's like Caribbean, like yeah, the, yeah. under the sea. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 like, 
<laughs> it's like the, the crab like, is gonna sing yeah, and shit. Sebastian, what? <laughs> 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 Fucking Ariel is there and shit. <laughs> Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you guys were saying you guys went to one of his shows one time, and he was like, "No, Isaiah was at a show, right?" <laughs> 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 and this fool comes up to Isaiah, and he's like, "Oh man, it's so tight you're here at my show." And Isaiah's like, "No, I'm not here at your show." He's like, "I'm just happened to be at this bar. Like, I had no idea you were playing." And he's like, dog, I look like I really appreciate you being here. Like, thank you so much. And he's like, no, no, I'm really not here to see you. Like, I, I don't, like, I don't. I never, promise you. Like, I've never heard of you. Like, and he said that uh, him and Mestizo were having drinks at the bar, and uh, he said, fucking, that basically Masferatu proceeded to mount the stage and play the steel drums while he rapped. And he, <laughs> oh my god! Not only that, but he went from the, the Saved by the Bell theme to the Mario theme to the Simpsons theme like, oh. in a like crazy like TV show throwback like me- a, me- like medley a, like an 80s to late 90s fucking uh, fucking flashback of melody and, shit. and he's like freestyling while he's playing the steel drums oh, dude that's my. like top this status you know? that's like, like- it's just crazy. That's oh. Jesus is my M bomb <laughs> shit right there. How do you grow up in Tucson and be like, I want to play the steel drum? Like of all the instruments, <laughs> yeah, what like, the fuck? is that a prevalent instrument in Tucson, Arizona? I feel like like fucking you should be playing like the fucking like the lizard skin fucking. <laughs> you should be playing a fucking cactus fucking, right now. Yeah, seriously, before you're like before you after you drink the fucking milk from it. Yeah, Jesus Christ, man. Like, Masferatu. Yeah, very poor, interesting. Poor bastard. Yeah, and then you like flamed his Facebook wall and shit. Oh yeah, I posted like a picture of Nosferatu being killed. Like with a stake <laughs> in his heart. To his heart. And was like, hey, buddy. And he was like, remember, <laughs> remember when we battled yesterday? He's like, fuck. <laughs> I should have taken your advice. Oh, shit. In hindsight. Oh, my God, dude. And I told him outside. I was like, if we battle tonight, I will never battle you again, bro. <laughs> I will never battle you again. Like, you'll have to give me, like, so much money. You'll have to play so steel drums at my wedding. <laughs> you, you have to play <laughs> Dude, if you're listening, <laughs> just send us a video of you playing steel drums. <laughs> oh, my God. Please pay a dollar and oh fucking post that. Who the fuck are you? Oh. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> you fucking backyard train. <laughs> steel fucking drum. Dude, Tucson is so weird. What the I fuck? Fucking... How is that? That's who you got me? You know what's fucked up, too? Is what, it's like, like, that was your solution? I keep having <laughs> these weird experiences in Tucson, bro. Like, at these battles and shit, and they're at, like, the battles are at, like, a fucking slaughterhouse. Is it, is just, it like, the Mummy Fashion like, Show? Dude, is that what it is? Dude, it's the Mummy Fashion <laughs> Show all day. So, look. So, you, but then so we, you guys went to a Mummy Fashion Show. But this show, hotel basically. we had, this hotel we had was right next to the college, and there's just fucking, like, like girls in short shorts and regular people and bars and it's, I'm like, wait a minute, like this isn't. It's like, why is I'm this just, weirdness fucking like? Like, yeah, how, how come every time I right come here, here, I'm dealing with this fucking weirdness when there's all these normal fucking people out here? It's just like, are you? Are you? Can I ask you a question? I don't know anything about voice box or anything. Are you contacting the same people every yeah, time you man. go out there? That might tell you something. <laughs> Oh, that's fucked up, but it's true. What's up with that seven-year-old kid that battles with the lesbian? Oh, man. Fuck he looks like, that he kid, looks like a limited That head. kid, A.G. or something. I can't remember what his name is, but he battled at every fucking event. Uh, yeah. Who is it? Ron, Ron was calling him a beanie baby because <laughs> he was wearing the same beanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that kid Beanie fucking, Baby versus Raisin Baby. Oh, he was so terrible that would too. Be and the they shit. kept they just kept putting him in battles. Yeah. It was like what is it was like AG versus danger in the in like the backyard and there's just like habeas corpus. <laughs> they're just like a, a weird trend. Hey, t- tell on. somebody explain habeas corpus to me because I don't know who that is. I don't either. I don't either. <laughs> and I saw him battle EK. I don't know who he is. I, I saw him battle EK, and I, I mean, don't know. I who mean, he is. is is he uh, is he in Slytherin or like what? What is Slytherin? Is what, that like is what, that isn't that one of the schools? What Hogwarts, on Hogwarts school did he go oh, to? Okay, yeah, probably. Okay. 
Yeah, I um, have no idea. That's yeah. what that shit sounds like. And if you act like you never seen Harry Potter before, you no, bullshit. no, no. I'm, I, I knew what you were talking you about. Bullshit. I thought that was just like a rap crew. I was like, I wouldn't yeah, be surprised. It probably Slytherin. is. At this yeah. point, I'm like, That's oh, tough. Slytherin. Masveratu is doubt Masveratu <laughs> is definitely in Slytherin. They got, they got hella steel drum cuts on their fucking <laughs> steel drum posse cut. Moss is like, hold up. <laughs> oh shit! We're in Sebastian of this battle. Too. Okay, so <laughs> rap fucking... game King Triton. <laughs> we got rap game King Triton. We yeah. got out of Tucson and uh, barely, and we went to fucking uh, we went to Berdino, and I took a day <laughs> off because the fucking next day, me and Cadillac Ron rocked fucking paid dues, and uh, that was a fucking crazy experience, dude. Like. Right off the bat, we showed up. We all had, like, crazy wristbands and shit, so we had, like, access to everywhere we wanted to go. And we roll up, and there's a fucking trailer. It says fucking Dirtbag Dan on that bitch, dude. True. And there's fucking, there's, there's juices in that trailer. How hard did you, like, there's come beers. all over everybody? Dude, I was just like, ah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, ah, shit. Yeah. So, um, uh, we went on first, uh, and fucking, there was a good audience. There was probably, like, five, 600 kids there. But there was hell of people, like, coming in. And uh, by the end of the set, there was, you know, there was a lot of fucking people there. But uh, I actually was able to go back and rock with uh, Equipto and Sunspot oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, Burner. Boak. It was during Burner oh, yeah. and, uh, and Equipto set. And actually, Wiz Khalifa was like a part of that set, too. So it was like we were all like standing there side stage, like waiting to go on. I'm like, oh, this is fucking pretty tight. Super and dope. at that point, there was like fucking at least 5,000 kids on that stage. <clears throat> and, um, and then Tumex is fucking hosting this thing and he just fucking like disappears. So we just hear like someone like, f- like drowning on stage. Someone's like poorly freestyling on stage or thousands of fucking people. Like at, at, this, <laughs> 10, point, at this point, there's 10,000 people out there Easy. and someone is fucking just poorly freestyling. And someone's like, I hear people all around the stage going, Dirtbag Dan, Dirtbag Dan, Dirtbag Dan. Go, dude, go and fill like, something in right the now. The fucking, the sound, the manager of that stage like looks over at me and he's like, <laughs> and, I'm like and I'm like, oh, and I ran up there and I fucking just started rapping and I fucking, I looked at the dude and I was like, why is this happening right now? And he's like, I don't know. And, and then, so I did another fucking, like, I did like a fucking long, I did the whole wax flow verse, just like, just yeah. chopped it up and, uh, but I got the audience back. They were fucking stoked and shit. And, and then Ron came up and he yeah. started fucking rapping too. And yeah. then we got held pictures of Ron, like just fucking 10,000 people and Ron's just <laughs> killing it. Yeah. Dude, we basically like, we tight. like thugged the stage. And then Tumac shows we up out of nowhere. We gangstered the dude's paid stage. Tumac shows up. He's like, yo, I planned that whole shit, bro. You owe me. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he shows up. He shows up and then he, he disappears again. And, and then, then I then... find his mic like in his trailer. Like oh, we, so we look, he his leaves trailer. his mic in his trailer. Ron's like, I'm stealing Tumac's trailer. He goes in there and then He's like, yeah, if anyone can do trailer. more push-ups than me, then they can have this trailer. <laughs> and then, so no one gets, so Ron Speaking gets. Speaking of prison shit. So Ron gets the trailer <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and the microphone that everyone's been looking for, Tumax, I guess, just took it to his trailer and it was on and Ron picks it up and, and he's in the trailer. He's like, he's like, fuck Trinidad James. <laughs> Ron, Cadillac Ron and this bitch. Just like, just like talking into the microphone and they could hear it on the stage and shit. And they're like, ah! they come there fast. They're like freaking out. There's there, like Brad. two sound technicians in like five minutes. They're like knocking at the door. Do you have that mic? They're like, we, we can hear everything you're saying. Here, we, here you go. Oh, we were like joking. We're like, what if they could hear us on the stage right now? <laughs> and this was like, Fuck Trinidad James <laughs> during his set and shit. Just oh like, man! Wow, dude, that's Wait, that's what we. Set? It was Trinidad James's set, bro, <laughs> and Ron's crazy. Ron's backstage, and he's just going like, "Fuck Trinidad James, <laughs> Cadillac Ron," <laughs> and then they're like, <laughs> "They're all yeah." I pro- I promise Trinidad James would not do shit to Cadillac. Ron. No, I, I yeah, dude. I, Ron, oh Ron, white boy, the fuck out of Greaves, Greaves. early in the day. Oh, yeah. Greaves walked by, and Ron just like threw out his chest at him and fucking. Just just like, just like stared at him as he walked by and Greaves like put the blinders on and shit. He was like, <laughs> he like fucking looked the other Greaves way. Greaves like avoided me. And that, then he's uh, like the whole festival. He's like, who was that guy? Like clearly when the dude's like the dude's like still like two feet away from him, you could clearly hear him. He's like, who was that guy? And I was like, that's Greaves. And he's like, I just white boyed the fuck out of Greaves. Right now. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yeah, Greaves got white boyed. Yeah, but we were walking around. We were just gooning out, bro. Backstage at, at like, paid dues, you can do whatever the fuck you want, man. Like, we can go. I went and watched Freddie Gibbs, like, me to fucking Skyler. Like, Gibbs is right there. Uh, 
sugar free fucking anybody that was on any of those stages you could just go walk up like and yeah. i had hella homie i brought hella people in yeah. <laughs> like yeah at some point i didn't even know i was bringing people on stage and shit like we could just be rapping <laughs> like doing i should have fucking went i don't know what the fuck i was thinking you know um hopefully you'll get another opportunity to do paid deuce i think fucking uh, i think that i showed a lot with the uh, not only like just on like i had a good set and whatnot uh and and like I did a good amount to promote Pay Dues as a whole, like just doing the music video and all the shit we did up to it. But I think like the sound techs there and like the cats that actually work for Gorilla Union and MERS are like, oh yeah, Dirtbag Dan's the man. He comes through yeah. in a pinch. You know what I mean? Yeah, like when two mechs vanishes. And the, and and it's crazy, like because I don't even know that cats be knowing me like that. But when they're on the stage and dudes flailing, I'm the guy they scream like, come I'm come tech- fucking come fix this shit. You know what I mean? Like. It's uh that reminds me like not on that not on that scale, but when we got to do that Wu Tang shit. Yeah, shit no shit. No, just and and that was the same thing. Just you're at Rock the Bells and yeah. someone's like, Hey, you guys wanna go rap on this stage right <laughs> like, now? And yeah. you're like, Oh yeah, fuck yeah, there's fucking ten how often does do, do you get an opportunity to yeah. rap for ten thousand people? You know what yeah. I mean? So you just take it. But uh it's it's just weird that cats know that like cause and and I guess it's like it's both a compliment and not a compliment at the same time, if you really think about it, because like a dude like Someone like Trinidad James, for instance, he's not going to go up there until it's his time to play. You yeah. know what I mean? Everyone knows it's an honor for me to be there, and they know that I'll rush to the stage and fucking get it done, yeah. whatever. At the same time, like, I'm a jobber, and I'm like, fuck it. You know what I mean? To be the guy that's known to where it's like, well, if it goes bad, you know, Dirtbag Dan can come up here and fucking, you know, like, clean up house, fucking juggle for long enough to for them to fucking <laughs> clean up backstage, and then fucking the show goes on. You know what I mean? Like, fucking <clears throat> A, man. Like... It's just good to serve a purpose at the end of the day. And uh, it's the enduring character. It's the enduring character yeah, of Dirtbag Dan yeah. coming shining through. I agree. That was the most modest way you could have put that, probably. Yeah. yeah. I, I explained a lot to Ron about <laughs> enduring character on this tour. No, I think, though, that being humility goes a long way. And I think it's refreshing, probably. I would imagine I don't work as a sound tech. Yeah, but if you're dealing with constantly when dealing, you're dealing with, with ego and arrogance and everything all the and time. I also think that's why Jim Free is going to succeed. Enduring character. Enduring character? Yeah. Is it, is it, is yes. Uh, enduring nipple, <laughs> nipple so, weirdness. So I, can't con- I have no control of my hands. <laughs> They're twerking my own nipples. It's like the fucked up hand from Scary Movie so, 2 and shit. EK, EK, was like, EK was like, hey, everyone wants to know, why was that guy tweaking his nipples all crazy <laughs> like that in the video? And she's like, I don't know. Or no, she, he said, was, was, did you know to tweak his nipples? Uh, or, <laughs> or did or you did, just pick up or on did it? He like some, or, or are you just intuitive? That's what he <laughs> said. And she's like, "No, he had some weird nipple fetish. I didn't like it." And and we were all bummed. We were like, "Oh, we thought you were just intuitive, and you just <laughs> knew." Just in sync. You just knew. Just it like, was, yo, I got this. I got that. Hold on, honey. I'll get these nips. I'll get these nips for you. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, very very fun at paid dues. Fucking good time. Uh, I was stoked I got an opportunity to go out there. Shit. Yeah, man. I, I, I just we could do that. We could do the germ free episode. But I mean, I'd rather fucking I can't even have her on as, as a guest now because she's done fucking. It might be. You could uh, maybe it'd be are better like, to have her on. Do, yeah, no. yeah. Are you discriminatory? No, I guess I can't. I don't know. It's weird. Like we got some weird rule. Like uh, me and my wife are saying like uh, you can't be watching porno if you know the person in the porno. Oh, uh, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's here, fair enough. Here you are so talking look, about it. Right? right? So look, Scarlet Pain is the reason that all of this fucking... I'm sure. Because Jessica is a real person. So I'm like, hi, you know what I mean? And then I'm like, oh shit, like I cannot... You know, like wife's like, you can't watch her in porno if you can shake her hand in real life. It's not, you know what I mean? That's off the table now. So what about... So where, <laughs> so where does germ-free <laughs> lie shit. in that whole equation? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How good of friends are you? Hopefully. I'm not, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but I'm just saying like... Uh, can I like invite her to the studio for to to be on the show or, or is my what? No, no, definitely not. Yeah. What if she has like a chaperone? What if like Lush is here to mediate? That's ter- yeah. that's even that's worse. Like the, that's the opposite of a chaperone. That's, the opposite. <laughs> that's like having like your a molester uncle with you. <laughs> that's like bringing a pedophile to the children's party. Yeah. Shouts out to Lush. Oh man. I'm not oh, saying man. Lush is a pedophile. Those are our new means. sound effects. Yeah, I'm by saying the way. though. <clears throat> Do you like the new buttons? Fucking We're getting technical in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Lush pioneered the germ free porno and he was actually he was like 
talking about he's like he was saying he knew some actual things you know outside of the video but yeah fucking i'll let lush speak yeah, on that's that. neither here nor there that's yeah. neither here nor there I am fully Lino raged at this point. He's <laughs> fully <laughs> Lino raged out. About, man. I think I'm ready to drink my third hemo. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking drink this one, dude. Um, Skyler, you want to split this bitch with me? Because I don't think I should do it all in one thing. Yeah. Oh, I that, did. That's the original. This was this is the new one. Hooperzine. That's the <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the original. This is shit we got. We do. We approach it. That's woo. That's the original formula. Did you drink I'm all technical. Of yours? Yeah, I drank yeah. the whole thing. Oh, all right. I drank all of it. Caustic everything. drink a hemo rage. A lino rage. A lino rage. I, I had some of it though, so. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was dude. It actually tasted pretty goddamn good, honestly. I can't open this bitch, man. Here I got. I it. actually kind of condone. No, I kind of like condone fucking. It was like it's like taking a whole pack of. Uh, drop some hemo. In it. They're it's like, like it's like a whole like, uh, a whole package of Kool Aid with like half a cup of water. Yeah. Like, Later that night, later that night, Daniel Stefani's heart stopped. <laughs> <It's like laughs> Unexplicably died in his sleep. <laughs> Two Marines are dead <laughs> as a result of and this. And Caustic's on top of a building yeah. like fucking Rambo. <laughs> like, fuck this town. All, All right, Lex town, Diamond yeah. is listening. Oh, Shouts out to Lex Diamond. Lex Diamond. Lex. That, uh, that also sounds like a porn name for what yeah. it's worth. I'm sure that dude has done porn. Yeah. That mustache says yes. He does like weird Mexican slash Middle Eastern porn, like where it's ambiguous racially. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Burke gets fucked hard. Burke gets fucked. Hard. <laughs> yeah, no, yes. I uh. <laughs> Nobody, we're good. Mustache whack. <laughs> we're straight. Did you open that? No hemo? problem. No, I'm 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 opening the hemo now. All right, dude, come on, man, get off my bed. <clears throat> Why is everyone afraid right so, now? So uh, uh, the the next time we, we played at, in Fresno at I'm Audi's jittery, Olympic, uh, we had a good show in Fresno. Oh, we uh, went to Vegas without you. Oh, yeah. You guys went to Vegas without me. The promoter was so <laughs> fucked up, he didn't even know I wasn't there. We were all concerned. <laughs> I was like, fuck, man. Like, they're all going to be upset that Dan's not here. And then there was these. there were these three strange fans that were like, where's Dan? You know, <laughs> I grew up with Dan. Like, I know all about Dan. And I was like, look. I don't know, man. I finally had They said they knew you in the biblical sense, and that's all they really said about what it. That, what does that mean? I exactly? don't know. I think they said they Knox. grew up with your brother or something. Oh, okay. And uh, I was like, you know, finally I'm like, listen, Dan had a family emergency. He's not going to make it. So, you You're know. like, don't tell anybody else at like, the club. I like, keep your mouth closed. Keep this low. <laughs> I did my duty of telling one person. You're like, listen. <laughs> on the low, the promoter doesn't know he's not here yeah. for some the reason. The promoter didn't know, yeah. And then we do the whole show, then they close down the venue, and fucking the promoter's trying to book LAJ for future events, and he wants, he's like, how much would it cost to get Makina to come here? And I'm like, just so happy he didn't know Dan wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we'll talk about it, buddy. I'm like, we got a, we got a long day ahead of us. So, <laughs> so I, like, I, I, I effectively did miss uh, a day of the tour, and, um, Nobody even fucking noticed. She makes me feel really important and special. I think uh, <laughs> uh, fucking it should. Uh, James Barry from Fayo was like online, like promoters pay more when Dirtbag Dan doesn't show up. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> making me look good out there. So uh, it was a shitty show anyway, Vegas. It was just weird, right? There was a lot of people there, but it was just like a strange crowd because it was beauty like, bar is always weird. I played there a bunch of times, and it's a, it's like a weekly, and people are just drop in, you know. I want to move, I want to move, but I can't. Did you drink? I'm half? screaming, but I'm so mm -hmm. quiet. I feel I'm already feeling the rage. <laughs> yeah, you feel like a tingling in your lips. <laughs> how you doing? How you, how you doing on your cup over there, Dan? Like, oh, you're good. I yeah. like I like how this is a uh, apple ambush. I went for the like, sucker gonna, punch. Is that gonna, I went gonna, for the sucker punch. I'm gonna dive out of a fucking bush later on and like attack Shit. someone. I feel like an apple ambushing everyone all at the same time. Um, Let me do Fresno. Fresno, like I said, good show. Shouts out to Populous. Yeah. And oh, uh, Aesop from Living Legends. Was oh, there. Aesop from the Legends was there randomly. Like and fucking, Cadillac Todd. That dude's Cadillac cool. Todd was there too. It was that just was like so a weird. random uh, rapper night. To yeah. be out at Cadillac the, Todd. Yeah. Have you heard of him? I have not. Yeah, I hadn't either. But he's like OG Bay, dude. Yeah. Really? I saw he's like has tracks with Mac Dre and yep. shit. 
That's crazy. Yep. There's dude, like, do, uh, do either of you watch Archer ever? No. Uh, yeah, I've seen it. Before. Dude, what, what's up with Ron Cadillac? Oh, is there's a that. Ron Cadillac, yeah. huh? No one's referenced it yet in the battle. <laughs> I don't know if enough. They're trying to fucking. They're trying to jack your swag, dude. Dude, Dude, I I, I, I think they heard Cadillac Ron and switched it. It's possible. Yeah. Ron Cadillac. Circa like 2007, there was actually an emerging rapper from Mississippi named Cadillac Don. (laughs) And uh, there was a brief period in my history where I dropped the Ron for like a year. I was just Cadillac. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I had no idea. On like fly. Because I, I was worried he was going to like blow super huge. Uh huh. And, and I then you're just be, fucked. Like, and I was like, now nah, I'm going to be accused of being a Cadillac Don yeah. like, re- rip off. So, but then nothing really happened with his career. So I was That's like, always good. So the Ron came back. <laughs> wow. Hemo Rage is pretty intense, bro. I feel yeah. like my. Uh, Lino Rage. <laughs> I, mean, it's Lino like, Rage. I feel like my brain is fucking. Is like you're trying feeling to... the tunnel vision like focus. <laughs> <laughs> and or the skin bursting pumps. Extreme vascularity. Skin bursting pumps? Yeah. Skin bursting. This shit is like NZT, bro. This shit is amazing. <laughs> he, said, he said skin bursting pumps. That's their, I don't even like... Dude, they had a contest. I pictured it in my mind, and what came to my mind was not realistic. <laughs> they have a, a contest to see who can make the best Hemo Rage video. Right? Oh, my God. And I think we win. Were I going, think we just did. They I think were we going win. ham, dude. There was this dude in the track and field, like, fucking just, like, tearing it up. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he won, dude. And, like, they had these kids just in the I gym just shit, going like Alexander <laughs> Hamilton in there, bro. <laughs> just just like, ah! And it's like, this Rage! is... A, With these loose-ass headphones. You know, this is the d- real deal. Okay. Okay. And then... uh. Was uh, it real deal? I, I did a little spot at Tourette's Without Regrets, and then we <laughs> wrapped up the Pay Drugs Tour. They, there, was there a battle that night? Uh, I did the freestyle battle last night. I made it all the way to the finals, and then I lost to the fucking the local talent in the in the final round. What, do you, what did you lose in? Uh, the Tourette's freestyle battle. Oh, really? Yeah, I, yeah, keep yeah, yeah. I keep a note of shit the, that you lose. Oh, oh, Tantrum's dad got murked by me in that bitch. Who's that? Uh, you, know, you know Tantrum's dad? No. Oh, that's some Bay shit. Uh, Dude, young Pierre. Yeah, there's a young there's, Pierre. there's a fucking. Uh, uh, or any other like. Dude, Tantrum was there. D. Lore was there. Uh, hell of people were there. Maple Leaf of rap music fame was there, but none of those cats like will enter a battle. Peanut was there, who wants What's me to call him the no. AM, but I just he, he's Peanut, dude. Come on, you're Peanut. So none of them I got in the battle. I don't understand no, I'm ha- the only one that shows up and like will get in the battle, and I fucking killed everybody, including the dude that won. But I was just on my shit. You know what I mean? Like if I go there. And uh, I'm in a battle. Why not? It's a fucking dude. There's clowns there. Your judges are like the most awkward, goofy white folks you've ever seen in your life all the time. They pick random people from the audience and then they hold up an X or O. So it's like, you, who cares if you win or lose, bro? I seen. T- oh, it's a red. I seen. It's so fucking lose random. To fucking a jelly donut in that bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, dude, no I, lost, I lost to like fucking two guns or some shit like that. Remember, you remember that? Like yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He literally was mystical on stage for like <laughs> minutes straight, and they were like, "Yeah," and they're like, "He's 16 and he goes to school," <laughs> like, and they're like, "Yeah, you win, bro." And I'm like, "According I, to Pariah, he would be a gangster." Who? If you go to school and you study and you fucking are, oh yeah, that's that's Jew gangsterism. That's yeah. a whole different type of that's gangster. That's Jew gangsterism. Res- the more responsible you are, is the more gangster. It's oh, like the man. bizarro world. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, bizarro was... gangster. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, I wonder if fucking um, uh, <clears throat> so we got to talk about Alcatraz, gentlemen. Oh shit! In our own particular battles, uh, Ron. Why don't you get us started? Uh, who are you battling at Alcatraz? <clears throat> I'm battling Reverse Live, and uh, I actually really like that matchup. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I was supposed to battle in Tucson that day, and uh, who was I gonna? Oh, I was gonna battle Foul Kilmer in Tucson. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> 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 you about to get this work? <laughs> and uh, fucking who? Incidentally, I texted when uh, T2 Good was in his. Uh, car crash and I finally was like all right foul I'm gonna be in town let's get it in he didn't respond to the text so I'm just putting it out there you <laughs> That's know another sound effect That's yeah okay. but uh anyways so we were gonna battle out there and then king of the dot staff fucking saw saw to it that 
instead of going out to Tucson, I'm going to Alcatraz to battle Reverse Live. Mm -hmm. So, shouts out to uh, Let's try. Lush and uh, Aspect and Malathion. So it'll be cool. What do you uh, What do you think? What are you looking forward to as far as a battle with Re Reverse Live is concerned, dude? Robert, Robert, dude fucking I'm all, telling you, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm having an experience. I'm trying to be quiet about it, but uh, but definitely like waves Yo. <laughs> <laughs> happening right now. It's all about. It's all about. I was like, I'm like, how do you think about, about the band? Thinking about my mouth working at the same time. <laughs> You're like, as there's like, there's like two yeah, more shows going on in my head <laughs> that I'm listening to right now. Ha ba ba Oh my god! Oh my god! No, uh, Alcatraz battle. Alcatraz do you think that? Do you think happen. that Reverse Live is gonna fucking uh, bring his A game against you? I mean, like, what? In his last few battles, the last one I'm familiar with is the one against uh, Fredo at the Battle of the Zay. I don't know. If he, he battled did. Megadeth at Resurgence. He did, he did, yeah. and I was even there. And for some reason, I didn't watch anybody's battle but yours that night. And and I, somehow I was behind you, and I wasn't even on camera. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what the yeah. fuck. I was invisible that night in every sense of the fucking word. Nobody someone was, was saying, nobody someone was like, see. Dan was there, and he was being an asshole. And I was like, I, Am I? Was I really? Yeah, there? yeah, you were. Why? What was I doing? <laughs> Jesus, man, I don't even know what's wrong with me. But uh, I, no, I think reverse is dope. <clears throat> I always liked his style. Dude, this mic cord is fucked up. Okay, you got go me? On. Yeah, yeah. Nobody yeah, touch anything. Um, and I expect, you know, I definitely am not mm -hmm. underestimating him as an opponent. Mm -hmm. I think he's battled for forever, and fucking, you know, he's overweight and fucking. Mm. Like, That's always a good angle. He's you got, know, it might you know, but recently I've seen that progression towards his like violent bars, like talking about. Guns and shit. He and like, was always kind of on that structure style, though. You aggressive. Know what I mean? He always kind of rapped like that, even if he was like, you know, in the grind time area. Yeah. Content was a bit different. <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Even if the content edge. was different, he was still rapping like. He's embraced that style. the new era of like, yeah, like blatant gun bars. Yeah. You know, when we probably like don't believe that is how you actually live your life. Yeah. But um, I don't know, man. It's possible you roll around Hollister, fucking. Strapped to the gills. I've been to Hollister many times. I don't know, man. I I, fuck, I think reverse is tight, and I think uh, he's dope. It's he's better be served. I really like. I think reverse. he's better served not doing fucking ridiculous gun bars. I don't fucking get it. I don't get how anybody gets away with that shit. Like outside of like that almost, being your real life. Like, you know like, what I'm saying? Like, like, well, I think Mantix can pull it off. <laughs> if anybody, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's just white people's revenge for not being able to use the N word while rapping. That's a good theory. It's like I don't get to use that syllable because, <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean. Like, I don't know. So, the, so like in it's it, just it's like it's almost like a handicap. Like, you know what I mean. It like, just seems so ridiculous to like me that you, anybody you're, takes you're that You're white. Seriously. You can you can't rap about a whole section. But it's not even life. like it's not even like a, a like a, a racially motivated thing. Like when I'm when I'm thinking about it, because look at 100 bullets for instance. Like I'm battling this dude. And I'm looking right. at this guy, and I'm watching his battles leading into, and he's fucking using gun bars. This guy's from fucking Burlington, Ontario, Canada. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And like, he's using gun I'm not, bars. I'm not he even speaking on it. I'm not even speaking on it racially. I'm just saying, saying that a certain somebody can't say a certain amount of yeah. shit out of the English language is fucking ridiculous. I think I say think, whatever you want. I think That's what I think. Anybody can say whatever they want, and. I'm going to believe it as much as your character fucking, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. makes I mean, me believe that shit. If you're, uh, you know. But then you, you're just going to lose because you're f trying to force shit. You know what I mean? Well, like, that's what I feel like. And, but no, but it if there was like a grimy ass white boy who was like from the backwoods and he's like, my papa got a sawed off shotgun. Like, so if Yellow like, Wolf came to battle. like No, but no. Yellow Wolf's like a skater. Dude. <laughs> Yellow Wolf's like. So we need like a Cadillac Ron. Ron is fucking what you're Ron, saying, yeah. honestly, like Ron, like wh like while he doesn't rap about that kind of shit, I'm believing Ron I in see the shit that he says versus like 100 bullets. Where I'm like, no, you never, you have no idea like the, what the that Mac, life entails. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, when, it's just ridiculous. I it's think ridiculous. it's the way they they all say it is ridiculous. Like, it's like when I lift that Mac 10. It's like, <laughs> like what? When I pulled like, the Ruger. It's like, yeah. no, nobody has ever talked like that in reality yeah, it's, ever. It's, it's like, so like, oh, we are about to engage in combat. Let me lift said Mac 10. When I let the cannon go. <laughs> so it's like, it's supposed to be like this gangster ass shit, but it's really like the most Shakespearean when 16th I grip century, the Enix. like, when I grip, fight you with when words. When I'm shit. gripping the Enix. Well, this is the thing, too. <laughs> when like, the Enix is properly gripped. <laughs> 
Noggins get flipped. It's, <laughs> this is the thing, too, honestly. Like, look, when you look at, like, any of those dudes in particular and, like, where they're from and, like, the lives that they lead, that they, you know, what they give you, you know, what's on the surface. Because yeah. that's all you could take from a motherfucker. You can't really, like, I don't know a shitload about Karsten Shreve outside of yeah. what's on fucking his, what he puts out on social media and fucking, and what he says in battles. You know what I mean? It's just but I know that dude didn't grow up in any kind of scenario where he ever had to do anything remotely gangster in his life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like not a single thing, not at a single moment of his life was he in a position where it was like, you're going to have to do some shit that is, fucking felony worthy that you know what i mean that you can't be fucking uh proud of or fucking talking about later right, you know right, what i mean right. it's, it, it, that's not his life in any way shape and or that's form. what it's just come to is being proud of felonies bro be as proud and as dry you snitching about and fucking felonies. dry snitching yeah. you know I've what i'm saying with some of these so-called like uh, gun rappers like in downtown la and they wouldn't even get out the car and I'm not, oh, I'm, no. not, I'm not gonna mention how about names. how about how about being with, <laughs> Kenny's like, with this is a nice rappers. part of town. How about we, being with drug rappers in New York when oh, you're yeah. on drugs oh, yeah. and you're like, where do I get drugs? We'll and they're like, I that. don't know. Yeah. And, you're, and you're like, dude, you you talk about selling drugs in every bar. All I want to buy drugs right now. Yeah. Where the fuck do I get them? And I and said that funny. in the battle too, Amal. I'll take you up on that offer because in his rounds he's saying, you know, I know. Hey, where, yeah, you do heroin. I'll give you heroin. Like I'm the dealer. And I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, it's where like, is all right, it? Then. You know, after the battle, I had talked to, and I understand, like, PH and Pumpkinhead or whatever, fucking uh, Poison, yeah, like, yeah. they don't claim to be drug dealers. No, not at all. So they were kind of put on the spot when I started asking them for heroin. <laughs> They're like, well, you know, but they want to be accommodating. Yeah. You know, and, and if you uh, ask, like, if you ask me, like, I'd be like, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. <laughs> but you know? when I asked T Moneybags, and he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, like, uh, my boy up in the Bronx, like, and this dude thinks I'm not going to go to the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's just, it's a long train ride to take for a white boy. Like, I'm like, I don't give a fuck, bro. I rolled Dolo to the Bronx with a fucking tuxedo from Men's Warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> fucking to the fucking Dominican barbershop where T Money Bags' his friend sells me some bunk ass heroin, dude. And I was like, "This is this is this is your drug dealing, you know? Like, this is how you sell drugs." Only on the Dirtbag Dan show. Yeah, you rip gentlemen. off. Tell the rest you, of the story, you know? though. So, which part? <laughs> Where did it, what happened to the heroin? Oh, so, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this is even better, man! Holy shit, <laughs> yeah. man. Oh, man! Come on, we're do, if we're doing yeah. this, we're, right. we're doing this. So shit. we get back to the hotel, and uh, you know, like I realized that the heroin. I did all. Of, I kept shooting it. You know, and that's the thing about fake heroin is like, for some reason, you keep shooting the fake heroin. You hope Just that God is going to miraculously right. transform the heroin. <laughs> At some point from the needle to my vein, it's going to become real, like some holy grail miracle. And fucking <laughs> it's bunk as shit. I got a few bags left. And uh, I actually feel a little guilt about this story. But uh, <laughs> another rapper from the West Coast was in town in New York at the time. I had three bags left. So I'm like, fuck it. You know, call Mantix <laughs> and fucking I did sell Mantix the fucking few bags. of the Only <laughs> on the Dirtbag Dan show, ladies Mantix, and gentlemen. And at Mantix, if you are listening, fucking, you know. Just kidding. Game recognized game. You know, wow, it's fucking, man. What a fuck that's how it goes sometimes. And that's it just crazy. It's though, not a personal attack. I feel like that should really prove to these cats but I'll the tell West you, Coast motherfuckers you know are not fucking around, bro. Dude, when Hollow, we say we're hey, heroin addicts, we're heroin addicts, and we will go buy heroin. You better have someone to sell heroin to us. And, and even if you sell him bad dope, he's going to flip it anyway. We're going to flip it anyway. And I'll tell you this, bro. That's California shit. Yeah. That's, Cal that's To the that's, fucking fullest. That's the West right there, ladies and gentlemen. And then fucking. Well done. I don't, think, yo, I don't even think Mantix is going to be mad at you. No, Mantix, either. it's all Man, good, it's like, dude. Yeah, I'm a good And Mantix is my homie, honestly. I like Mantix. Mantix has seen me through some shit. Me too. Like fucking, we had some outsider rap shit going on we had some fucking opiate addict shit going on and fucking so you know it's all it's all what happens in the game dude but uh fucking like when hollow had come out to the west coast i had held him down on in a way that t money bags was unable to hold me down and that's yeah, like yeah, his yeah, boy yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, the yeah, leader yeah. of his shit you know that's like lom fucking and hollow's a real dude you know hollow and i've done thorough you know that's thorough dude but don't play like you're a fucking drug dealer and not fucking sell drugs and refer me to bunk Dominican drug dealers at the barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
That's some that petty. That is the most next that's day petty, dude. shit ever. That's yo. petty. Just say you didn't know wow. where to get the dope, man. But yeah, but I mean, like, it's it's a it's a issue of perpetration on on that front. Like, I'm not proud of shit that I did when I was a kid. You know what I mean? That like shit that I would never dream of doing in this day and age. Uh, most of the, like the shit that we did that was bad when we were kids, we could talk about now. We used to sell hell of weed. They made that shit legal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck that was. But but honestly, like realistically, no bullshit. Did it because I had to for the most part. You know what I mean? Like, I ha- it was half and half. It was like fuck around, and then it was like, well, good thing you know how to do this from fucking around because you're really gonna need some fucking money to eat food and shit like that. You know what I mean? But that's different. Like, I grew up in 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 fucking. San Jose, California, in a fucking nice neighborhood where fucking bad shit happens. Look, like, Ron, you didn't grow up in the fucking hood by any No, I'm from mean. Hancock Park, man. Yeah, it's a, it does, you don't have to be in the hood for fucking hood shit to happen. So I don't even, like, look at a, a person and where they're from necessarily yeah. as, like, a clear indication. And we, but how they carry themselves in real fucking life, in real life situations. Right. You meet these cats and you're like, you will never fucking... You've never held no a gun. Way. You've never yeah. had a gun pointed in your face. You've never been in that situation in your life. You've never, you know, you know what I mean. You never felt. It's the not fear. that weird, like growing up in in the Bay or California in general. You, you know, go to a you party. Know, you go you know to a house a party, and someone gets fucking shot at. Someone gets fucking stabbed. The white stabbed. dudes your are the worst are, fucking gonna, dudes sometimes. Well, usually, party, if you know, look yeah. at the dude and you're like, look at his friends. Like, why is that white dude kicking yeah. it with all those fucking Mexican cats, or why is that white dude There's kicking it with all those black folks? Be scared of that fucking white dude for sure. You know what I mean. And they all rap. <laughs> for the Every most last part, fucking one of them. For the most part, like, for me, like, I, I had a, homies that were into fucking foul shit, but they were always, like, the type of cats that were like, don't do this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, stay out of trouble. Uh, we hung out with cats that were much older than us because I had older yeah. brothers and shit. So all our friends were like, you know, I was like 15 with a bunch of 18-year-olds or I was 12 with a bunch of 16-year-olds, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they would always be like, stay out of trouble, stay out of trouble. So I was never, I never had to do Dirt, you just wanted to because fucking older people were. You yeah. know what I mean? But at the same time, do I write about that shit? Do I glorify that shit in my adult life? You know what I mean? Like, quite the contrary. I think it's way funnier to fucking point out someone's fucking, you know, oddly shaped body or their fucking, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Right. Or their fucking, fl- the way they talk or their fucked up fucking facial features or something that you could, f- you know, that somebody can fucking make somebody laugh right there in the moment. Somebody can notice right there rather than like create some false image of myself as a fucking gangster, which I'm not, nor have I ever been, you know what I mean? Regardless yeah. of any situation I've been in. And then you got these kids who you know haven't even been through half of the shit that I've been through are fucking, like, gripping yeah, the yeah. Enix and fucking, right. you know what I mean? And, like, fucking... Those dudes are Enix, soft. Yeah. Grabbing the Mac and shit like that. Like, honestly, like, if I have any issue with 100 Bullets as a battle rapper, that's my only issue with it. It's, but it's just... It's not even him. It's a sign of the times. This is where battle rap is at right now. I told where, you- like... Corey Sharon can use gun bars or like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Tricky yeah. P can use gun bars. Ironically and if it's a good shit, bar, yeah. it's ironic, then it's fuck it. It's, it's fun. It's like, and fuck it. I guess it is fun. <laughs> those I are the best. I can't be mad at What I'm palming the that. steel? It's just like, where's the line? It's all I can feel. <laughs> <laughs> I said in a battle back in the day, in the, in the Hawaiian battle, I said, when my guns come by in forces, it's like a hundred flying horses. Because it was right when that gun shit really came into play. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, it, this is the funniest shit ever. This is like so funny to me that people are li- like, they're doing that. Yeah. So I'm just going to take it to the, that was the most extreme thing I could think of. When my guns come by in forces, it's like a hundred flying horses. Like that don't even make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. I've had, yeah, I've used some gun lines before, but I've never, I don't, I've never like, I've never done it in anything <laughs> but a way to like point out that Make the person point, I'm battling yeah. is fucking doing it yeah. in a silly way. But there's you know? like, I mean, uh, and in my defense, like there are legitimately people that I would kill. You know, like there's this guy, <laughs> there's this guy in LA. I guess right we're, now. I guess we're gonna change the subject slightly. And, uh, well, no, I'm saying like this goes. I said this Cadillac on, Ron's capacity on the for intuition. Murder. Uh, podcast. I was like, I'm not claiming to be a gangster, but if you ask anybody, they'll tell you I'm a real person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 Ron's thorough. Yeah. They're like, he's 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 a good dude. <laughs> and uh, like, There's I times do. Times where I'm like, I'm going to a battle. I'm like, it don't matter. Caddy's gonna be I have, there. I do suffer from mental <laughs> I'm illness. Be all right. And like, that's fucking. That's worse than being a gangster when you're mentally ill. Like when you actually have the ability to just snap and or be sociopathic. And yeah. Detach from society and spend long periods of time. Alone in a dark room, just fucking hating yourself for like two years straight. <laughs> hey, while you, you fucking carve symbols into your body 
you know, and fucking then you like meet people later in life and you like like share experiences about like, the Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, like you can't tell me you've been through that shit, bro. Like <laughs> that's why white people are the craziest people there are, man. Like fucking serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer, fucking. Yeah, well, Albert statistically, Fish. there's like fucking they make up like 97 percent of the world of, stereo, of serial killers. Like who dresses murders. up like really? Bane? A black person yeah. will dress up like Bane and go to the no, movie but they just don't have a lot. Of, there's just not, like a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of everyone. There's not a lot of Bane black uh, serial killers in any co- not even like white person just would. across the board. There isn't like and <laughs> a lot of it mind. is uh, cultural too. America has way more serial killers than any other nation. There, it's not like there isn't serial killers in any so other nation. There's the least amount of people checking on you. That's like the, the other thing is too is is that they believe too in like countries like Russia. If they have like gnarly serial killers, they just fucking off them. They don't like yeah. make a post. So like we're not gonna send it through court for a yeah fucking yeah. Year or they're not gonna to like, get permission to maybe look at your shit. Or they're not gonna like put it in the newspaper because yeah. they don't put that kind of sh- shit in the newspaper anyways. But whatever, like all that is besides the point. Uh, white people can be fucking terrifyingly crazy, and Ron is a prime example of that. I personally like am in no way like the type of person that ever wants any fucking uh, violence to fucking happen in the world. Yeah, but you would but, stand up for yourself and hey, give dude, it, you, could, you could fight if you needed to. Motherfuckers know me, and I live by right. a fucking code. There's I no way there's, to say there's not a situation you'd kill for. Yeah. I'm everybody. Saying, everybody has that that I'm thing in their life. That where when it's I like, show up I'll to a battle, if this. cats are acting weird, it's nice to know that I'm in the same room with people like uh, Caustic and Cadillac Ron. These are definitely two people in the world of battling that I know uh, would fucking, if it came down to it, are gonna fucking swing. You know what I mean? And when it comes down to battle rappers, a lot of mother, you can't say that <laughs> about a lot of motherfuckers. Tony Madness. Same fucking thing. Yeah. Like when it comes me down and, to me it, and Tony got it. Well, it just fucking Frisco. And and it, and anytime it's like all that shit is is based on because like I said, yeah, that was you too, huh? yeah, I can't funny. I can't base anything on anything but uh how how a person acts and what a person does. And I know for a fact because I've been in situations with fucking you know what I mean. I never had, had a situation where fucking me and Caddy had to scrap, but I've heard about situations where him. You know, yeah. in and other homies, fucking same thing goes for you. Same thing goes for you. Like we've all been in these situations before together. You know, you know what I mean. I don't look at cats who battle like that and speak on battles like that and and think, yeah. oh man, you're a serious fucking threat. And you know what I mean. You're someone because I talk to you after the battle and you can't even hold a like manly conversation with you. Funny, look at me like in dudes the like us shit. rap about it the least out of everyone. You know what I mean. And I think it, that might be a California thing too. Is you just don't talk about the shit you do or you're not supposed to. At least I mean you can talk a little shit, but. Like, X-Rated is well-known out here for fucking <laughs> snitching on himself in music and fucking yeah, doing yeah, a yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's probably, that, I mean... That's you, don't, you don't eat a bitch's lungs yeah. if, you, if you've been writing horrorcore rap. You know? <laughs> and, and then, then get caught running down the yeah. fucking street like Covered naked in blood on PCP and shit. And yeah, that shit. Just ha- that's West Coast shit right there, man. That's that what happens. happens in California when you do what you rap. Alcatraz, baby. Caustic, what about you and JC? Me and JC is gonna happen, man. Honestly, it's not been on my mind. I'm not, I'm not sleeping on JC, but I haven't got around to it yet. But uh, <laughs> you know how I do my shit. There's nobody. I'm like, I never, I'm never done a month in advance. I just can't fucking justify it in my own mind to fucking sit there and think about your fucking dumbass. Hey, Rory, can you get me one of the flyers so we can straight. fucking run down the card? They're in that box out there. Thank but, you. But. I am excited about the battle. I definitely no, think uh, no, they're in that one out there. I definitely think this is going to be my my most challenging battle. You know what I mean? He's uh, one of those dudes. He doesn't have a lot of obvious shit to attack. You know what I mean? So what do you mean he looks like a fucking ten year old? Don't give away my shit, bro. <laughs> a, Shut I mean, the fuck respect up. to uh, JC. He's one of the. I mean, uh, there's a lot of impressive uh, cats that come from the. Uh, URL end of things, yeah. but most of them have been impressive for a long ass time. Yeah. That JC is one of the very few newer. Yeah, uh, I feel like we're kind of in like a, a similar position as to uh, you, you. Know, yeah, I think you've been in, around longer. I think if you look at that, because yeah. you did come in like Caustic. I always say was the last. He came in with the last wave of battle rappers that, like everyone that came after obviously came after you could tell by their styles that they came after you know what i mean caustic was the last like he was like the first round of tryouts after grind time had already kind of established itself as like a league that was people were watching and shit like that uh i think jc i only noticed of about a year ago and and then and just realized like 
oh, this is like a new guy. Okay, yeah. he's good. You know what I mean? And Where then, is like, he from or battling? He's in, uh, like, he's from yeah. Michigan. He's from... Where does he battle at? Uh, he ba- he battles in Smack mainly, doesn't he? Yeah, he's done more shit at home though. I think I know he's I know he used to rock with. Well, they have a league out Steam there. Street. Yeah. yeah, they have a league out there, and I guess he was supposed to battle 100 bullets in that league and like all sorts of shit. That's some. I think that's a whole different league. Oh, is that a dip? Yeah. That's some other shit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I like, know. there's ma- there's like multiple. I don't understand. The there's situation. multiple like JC and uh, 100 Bullets blogs. Yeah. It's so funny they're battling at the same event, but not battling. I don't each know other. if like Daylight like highly endorses JC or hates him at this point. I don't know any Daylight and Daylight the things he does. Like, I have no idea, enigma, man. Like, bro. he really is. Like, I never. <laughs> he's <laughs> never a dude where I'm like expect Daylight to yeah. do this. You know what I mean? Like, I would never be so bold as to predict any of daylight's <laughs> actions in anything like, but uh i know i'm a, I'm a fan of jc I, I like his shit i watch his shit before i watch a lot of the other dude's shit but uh yeah i just gotta think outside myself and do my shit it's you know it's been a long time since i battled at home i'm excited about that you know yeah I mean? me too man oakland i think it's been a, like a long time coming since we had a real like oakland event you know what i mean like oh. kind of sucks the soul out of you and you have to travel almost every fucking time to battle Yeah, man, like cats don't realize like for a couple years, um, largely because of Cadillac Ron, (laughs) we never had a home to battle. Like the guy, like the people who were considered the most dominant kind of force in battle rap because there were so many of us that were doing so well at one time. Just all of a sudden, after MOB, we didn't have. We became like free agents. Yeah, and we battled everywhere else in the world. But <laughs> it's like if the NBA shut down and then everyone said, yeah, play in, like, we just went and went to play Europe in Europe. Bro. You got to do what you got to do. Like got to go play in Australia. Got to go play in Sweden and shit. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. You know? So, uh, you know, it's nice that like events have happened more recently that have kind of given us an opportunity to come back home. You know what I mean? Like, but if you look at like resurgence in the volume of people, yeah. Like I didn't I didn't feel like I was at home at Resurgence. No. I didn't feel like I was battling. LA battles never fucking feel at home, yeah, man. No, you LA, know, half the audience comes there to be seen and not to see anything. LA is my least like consistent crowd. Every yeah. time I go there I have a different experience. It's just weird. It's reacts, just weird. The me. audiences are always weird. Well, yeah. three I thought was a decent LA Yeah, show. yeah. I, I thought I what that, yeah. I think that it was decent if you were like in that pit, but it was such a weird venue that like so many people were missing so many of the battles because it was like you had to be inside this like little pit area to watch the performances or yeah. on the stage yeah, yeah. or you're like outside around the corner in the smoking section, which is like, fuck that. I'm going to be in the smoking section. You know what I mean? Yeah, so right. I think the warehouse setup is the right way to go for all of these battles. I think that was what uh, made Battle of the Zay successful. I'm honestly kind of disappointed that they moved the venue. I really like the new parish, but uh, I, I've never I've, I've been to new parish, but I have no idea what this new venue looks uh, like. Yeah, I've, I've never been to New Caribbean, but uh I just, I, I, uh, or is it West Caribbean? Some shit like that. I don't know. Caribbean uh, city. Let me see. It's, uh, it's right there. New Caribbean new city. New Caribbean. I had it right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I, I fucking, I wish we could rock the Metro, but never again, man. Oh uh, yeah. God bless the Metro. It was a great venue for battles. That was just a crazy ass weekend, bro. A lot of yeah. shit happened at MOB. that kind of fucked shit up. Well, <laughs> it went, it went beyond that, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. I think that, uh, it would have been nice to do it at the Battle of the Zay warehouse rather than even do it at a, a you know a bar. Period. Like I think warehouses are better setups for battles. Yeah. I think people it limits the amount of opportunities for people to do other shit. Like when people are at a bar, they go to the bar and they fucking all talk at the bar. So the distance from the bar to the actual place where the battle is happening yeah. is fucking vital you know what i mean like and it means everything as i think, far as having, how much I think attention. having it in oakland is vital i think it's, it's no definitely. totally i totally agree but i wish it was that i wish we had, we had a warehouse yeah. you know i know like uh where's what there's a big there's fucking uh big old studio in in oakland uh what is not not sound management um fucking uh, ah fuck i forgot the name uh i know the los feo dudes it's where tony tony and tony and them fucking record oh i think i um, I don't remember the name. They have a big, like, open air, warehouse area in there. But I, I don't know, man. I mean, like, I'm trusting that this venue will be 
awesome. But more than anything, I'm trusting that the fucking audience still knows what's good and comes out and fucking rocks with us. Yeah, think that's, about it, that's man. the it's biggest been, question. Is I have no idea how this crowd's going to react. We're promoting. We yeah. got these flyers. We did a show last night. We repped it at the show here in San Jose. I think everyone of the San Jose battle fans are going to come out to this thing. Uh, I'm definitely going to bring a bunch of people to come watch me battle. I know yeah. Caustic is the same for him. But then, uh, like, there used to be, like, a really large, dedicated group of battle yeah. fans in Oakland that were expected events to happen every three months yeah. and they would show up to the events and they were and fucking it's been, awesome. It's been like two years now. Oh, it's been like three, two or three years. Yeah. yeah. So like, do those people still exist? Are they going to come back out of nostalgia? Um, if they do, are they going to be the same? Are they going to react the same yeah. to the bars? Like we can't go in there and expect it to be MOB or battle of the yeah. big five. We have to be realistic. And if it's like, well, what if it is though? It'd be fucking amazing, man. I think it, it could be. be like uh, it would be the best thing fucking possible, man. It would be the you best know, thing possible. I think I think a lot of the fans like just need to to just suck it up and get used to new people happening because I think a lot of people are just stuck on wanting to see the same names and if they're not familiar with certain names on the card, they're gonna bitch about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's a pretty pretty good like the diversity on this card is pretty good though, you know, like Rage. <laughs> I think uh, I think I'm I'm excited about the 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 top battles. Um, let me just say about my battle real fast. Uh, I feel like the the blogs have been misleading. Um, I, I had to do mine live, so I just yeah, one take jaked it. Uh, I definitely don't have like a a disdain for 100 bullets. I think he's a he's a, a fine nice. He's a nice enough he's gentleman. Dude, he's he's totally he, he's, nice guy. Yeah, he's he seems like a nice dude. Uh, both times I met him. I'm not like entirely impressed or unimpressed with him as a battle rapper. I've seen things from him that I think are really cool, but I think like the list kind of like writing a list and then working backwards from one punchline is kind of like a cliche method of fucking writing and like the forwards and backwards shit, unless it's really good, it really just comes off as like, come on, man. Like, I just, why don't you just throw a punch? You know what I mean? Instead yeah. of being elusive, it's like people in there fucking. Dancing I like, I like when he either, he either keeps it straight to the point or he just goes fucking overboard with it like a soccer shit. Yeah, he did yeah, in England. Yeah. That shit is tight. I liked how he did that. I see, but the, did you see him and 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 uh, Poe Rich? Did you watch that one? Yeah, I just because he did. It. Did you? He did the alcohol one in that one. That was hell. It was like fucking sixteen bars, yeah, that, and I was like, "Holy shit, man! This is terrible." Plus, like that's been done before. It's not like it's a new. Let's be honest, bro. Like. The Jizza did this shit in, in 1996, <laughs> bro, on a, on a little song called Labels on Liquid Swords. Yeah. Like, that's that whole fucking style was done in 1996. So but it let's hasn't not pretend like it's hasn't like, everything been done at no, this but point. But I mean, like, like where everybody pretends like that's the newest fucking shit in the world. That's the newest shit everyone forgot about. Okay, fair enough. So deal with it. But, uh, and, and, <laughs> and I'm down with it, you know what I mean? Like, when it's done tastefully. But when you do it for 16 bars and when you do a scheme like that where it's like alcohols really like this has never been done before i've seen people do that to that opponent before yeah. you know what i mean so it's like i'm like i you know i experiment i experiment with like long schemes like that and sometimes they don't come off you yeah. know what i mean like and it's it feels like a lot of work for little payoffs sometimes if it doesn't work i expect a tough battle i expect an uphill battle i think that um i'm definitely gonna have like the the live edge as far as fans are concerned. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because based on location, but fuck if I don't deserve it. I travel more than any of these fuckers. And they, all, they like to play like the home field advantage shit on me yeah. because four years ago I won a series of battles yeah. that they might not have felt like I, I should have. Battled, I haven't battled here since fuck, 2000, that was so long 2011 ago. was my last battle in the Bay and what I was, was Rock the Bells and I didn't give a fuck. I battled, yeah. Ro yeah, I, I battled you at, at Rock yeah. the Bells. I killed yeah. O'Blimey and made her right. cry on stage. True. Ron I, I battled like on heroin. Writing, I was like writing right. for you uh, behind uh, the stage. That was epic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ron was like basically like going through like cold sweats and convulsions right. on stage in a battle with me. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> I hosted that battle. Yeah. That was hilarious. <sighs> um, uh, that battle was strange. That was crazy because you just, you almost beat yourself harder than Dirt did. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were like, fuck me, this whole battle. Yeah, you like, you like eight miled it like uncomfortably. You were like, yeah, I'm a piece of shit. You know, it was like, oh, all right, hold on. Yeah, you made, you're not, no, dude, you're you not, made my jokes seem like entirely less bad. funny because I was like, that's wow. a good strategy. We were talking <laughs> about that uh, with uh, Serp when I was saying how going driving to battle Dan, it was like uh, 
it was like the boxer in Pulp Fiction, like meeting with Ving Rhames. And he's like, knowing you're going to just lose. <laughs> like not having prepared anything and having like the sickest heroin slash cocaine slash crystal meth habit, like all at the same time. <laughs> then injecting a lot of bath salts like in the parking lot. <laughs> what? The and fucking, this is all true. And fucking then going to like take the stage is like, are you ready to lose in front wow. of in front of all Dan's friends? Like, just, <laughs> and it's like, fuck, man. I was you, like, yeah, you put I yourself am. in a tough situation. I was like, I've been losing my whole life, <laughs> dude. Dude, it was like, was like, like months later. I love these Cadillac Ron confessionals, bro. I wish later, this could Ron be like a regular like, uh, portion of I the show. I told Skyler like the next morning at your house, like was uncomfortable because i like wanted to apologize <laughs> yeah but yeah, it was like too soon yeah no he, i couldn't be like hey sorry i'm such a jackass he apologized later and i was like honestly man you don't need to apologize for nothing i apologize that came, johnny v's you did like what you did bro i respected yeah. it yeah I had you nice came through about it you came through that showed me that you had respect for me because i think 90 percent of people that you were scheduled to battle you wouldn't have fucking showed up yeah. to battle you know what i mean but you were like nah you know what it's dan i made a deal with him i fucking regardless we're gonna make this shit work and 90 you made it fucking, fucking drunk people you made at it the fucking work club. man you made Fuck it fucking yeah. work that shit's awesome yeah yeah we pulled it off and then uh that was like yeah then the next day was the other the grind time that was supposed oh, to be wow. a big event in the bay yes that i had somewhat organized yeah. Loosely. Which one? What? And the uh, fucking uh, it was what was like it? it was like the, the San Francisco scuffle. The San oh Francisco. god damn! It was, not called it was that, supposed was to be it? called the Oakland riot, but it turned into the San Francisco Dude. scuffle, bro. <laughs> we were we were both a part of that whole ordeal, oh and my just god. just from how excited we were about how good it was gonna go. Just the extreme. were you battling that day? I was supposed to battle. Oh, <laughs> I was wow. supposed to. That was when I was supposed to battle Pumpkinhead and that whole fucking wow man. Was, what was going on? That wasn't and we, all when, of we my were the fault. we were the first one to fall out. You know, honestly, just with all the bullshit going on, I was like, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, I don't want to fucking rap battle you. Yeah. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm sick of hearing about it. And uh, and then everything just started to fucking fall apart. I just remember. For, no, it, it for all like different uh, reasons. Just so many cooks in the kitchen. It was fucking So many great. cooks. When giving, I got to that so event. So many cooks giving Ron I, money yeah. to spend in the kitchen. When I pulled up to <laughs> the San Francisco <laughs> scuffle, I had gotten, like, with a, an anonymous person that... that from San Jose had like put me in touch with a heroin dealer from San Francisco. Oh, that's, yes. a, that's an excellent story. And yes. uh, so I'm supposed to go to the San Francisco scuffle, but instead I'm in a car with this fucking middleman heroin dealer. And I'm like <laughs> copping dope across the street from the fucking yes. the club six watching you the San Francisco scuffle. You and I both know who he's talking about too. Shit. And uh, then we finally get the dope. Jesus. And then I walk over to the scuffle, like just like look at it. I'm like, I got to get the fuck out of here, I think here, that man. was by far the most awkward event out of everything. And then I fucking the gangstered event. absurd for a box of gold coin clothing. I was like, <laughs> what's that you got there? And he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, I got this, this box. And I was like, that's mine. I was like, thanks, bitch. And then fucking, uh, yeah. So <laughs> oh, my God. And dude. this was a story we told last week, but driving home, fucking <laughs> I stopped to shoot bath salts in a fucking gas station on I-5. And I see... The person that I jacked the most money from, the, the that had given me the most money to sponsor that event, in the fucking gas station right after I shot the bath salts, and I come out of the bathroom <laughs> and I see the person that I robbed, and like the whole thing's open now. Like you know, the event was a fucking horrible event. <laughs> Clearly, Ron was nowhere to be seen. I was supposed to be in Reno the next day. I never made it. And, uh, that was an interesting weekend. And wow. then, no, but I knew, though, like, I knew after the Dead Man battle, because then Dan said on Twitter, I wish this Cadillac Ron had shown up to battle me last summer. Yeah. And that's when I felt like, uh, I was guilt. like, it's, yeah, it's I was like, guilt. fuck, man. Yeah. I was like, I wish I had shown up to battle <laughs> Dan, because <laughs> Skyler and I were talking about it last night, that the timing was correct for that battle. Yeah. Like, coming off of Red Bull, like, where me and you were in the finals of Red Bull. Yeah. It was a great time, and I blew it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know but it's one of those things man this is like i would i really wish i didn't use like every single good punchline i had for you in that battle but i definitely did and i had like a <laughs> lot of really good like schemes and like you know what that's one of the few battles like i mean i i watched me and caustic a few times even though it was a pretty bad victory like yeah. on caustic side but i still watched it because it, it got onto world star yeah, so yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. and it became known as like a classic battle yeah, so yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. all right i'm gonna watch caustic beat me again 
And I then li- uh, I like watching that it's a battle. good battle. Of course you do. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, for both sides. <laughs> That's like, you know, that what a great way to start my weekend that weekend. It's like, you have the first battle and you're going to lose. <laughs> and sp- you, were, and be, you were the very and first And be here person. for two days as a loser. As a loser. And I, but, it was, again, I watched that battle and be like, again, me, me fun, caustic fun fact, in. Cadillac Ron had a gun on him that whole battle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> hey, see, and this is the fucking <laughs> but, thing. What the fuck, this man? This is the fucking thing. I was like, and who is this guy? Like, that was the first time we met, was it not? And it these guys are like <laughs> gun rappers, and the one guy who's carrying a gun the whole battle never writes a gun line. Yeah. But, um, what was I, I was just say? like, I was like, did you think I was going to get crazy or something? <laughs> and he's like, not particularly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But the damn battle, I actually... Was one of the, was the only battle I couldn't watch. Like you like where, literally can't watch that battle. Yeah, there's like one like line where I just like turned it off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm like watching. I'm like, oh fuck, man, like, this is real. Like this is really, <laughs> this, is real. this is really happening. Like this happened. Oh man. And uh, I think when I say like, I'm like, what are you talking about, you white biscuit? And I'm like, what does that mean? I'm like, like, I'm like, what did I just say, dude? Like, why are you doing this to yourself, Ron? And it's like so weird to watch that Ron in battle oh mode because I'm God. like, most it's of, all about it being a line like that ask. too, not like There's some real like, ass shit that either of us said. Is, is, that, just like, is that your least favorite battle that? that you did? Of mine? Yeah. Like, what's the hardest one to to everyone? What's the hardest one to watch for you? Oh. I can't watch the damn battle. Yeah, I couldn't watch it. Um, fuck. Come back to me. What's yours? Because I it's it's hard for me. Oh, to say. mine. Sometimes. I can't. So I, I can't. I, I like the wrong battle because uh, I just I felt like my third just didn't. It was ahead of its time or some shit. Yeah. But uh, I can't. I can't watch the base battle. I just think it's gross. The whole fucking ordeal of it. Oh yeah. That was a really weird night. If you remember yeah. that, guy. Yeah, I do. I set it up. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. all your fault. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and the definition battle. The definition battle. I fucked up the worst in that one. That was probably besides battling you. You have some luck like a motherfucker, bro. You ah. battle people on their days where they're well, just like, fucking want to kill Well, with me and you, it was a tournament, bro. And, and it was like, it was like <laughs> I was, did I, not prepare I, for I prepare for these things better than fucking most people on yeah. the tournament end. But uh, especially since I had lost one in the past, and I was like, I'm not doing that again. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've actually ever watched that one again. Um, there's I a few, I guess. One. I don't like to watch, uh, I don't, I don't like to watch uh, me and Mad, Mad Child particularly. Um, yeah, yeah. You because didn't. I know I could have done shit to win, regardless of like of like the oddity of the situation. Yeah. I could have done more. That that kind of fucks with me. How could you have combated um, his wizardry? That's I mean, a good question. You man. didn't that's know magic. Then. Yeah. I did not know magic then. I know magic now. It's a different. <laughs> he world. was so, wearing. Uh, a, he was wearing an invisibility. Me and Johnny Storm. <laughs> at, you didn't get beats from from me, bro. Yeah, I mean, if, I, if, if I I wish I got him from Rob the Viking instead. But uh, silver eyed uh, lions. Uh, Johnny chasing. Storm battle from the paid dues that I didn't win that tournament because it was just so lackluster on both of our parts. Yeah. I don't think either of us are fucking stoked on that one. Me and Johnny had a lackluster one too. Um, Shout out to Christian Eight One Eight. Me and yeah, uh, thank me you and, for, yeah Christian Eight One Eight for that. Disaster. Me and me and J Pro. That's another one that's just like, geez, I don't ever want to watch that fucking. We were talking about the most awkward battles earlier. We're you better stop a, it, bro. We're talking about a bunch of them. You better. You better stop it, bro. Dude, you remember like the the would be strippers on stage with like the oh, fucking bro. like the poles were, like shaking violently. And then I called them violently. like C-section fucking <laughs> scar having ass strippers, and that was the end of it. For it me. It kind of shut the shit down for a so, second. So yeah, there's a few I don't like to watch, but uh, um, the syrup league. At the end of the day, there's a lot more that I do like to watch. So I'm not. Shouts I'm not out mad. to the syrup league. And they showed up. Me, me, they me they brought QP to the halfway house with one of the most morbidly obese men I had ever seen <laughs> in my life driving. He couldn't even like his seat. The seat was rocked all the way Dude. back, but he was still sitting up regularly. <laughs> There's some questions better left unasked. Like QP, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's like, like hey, Chuck. How why do you is know there a guy? tranny at this party? Who? Who like, brought the trip? Oh Did we ever get an a answer to that question? Because I know you asked the question. I actually texted them the next day. You're like, why is there a tranny? Twitter. I just want to know like, who there knew like, how the tranny. Happen? If anybody from Voice Box is listening or that you were there that attended the event that evening or has any information to <laughs> regarding, <laughs> regarding said tranny Please sexual. call Tranny Stoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Back here at Tranny Stoppers. We want to know. All right, man. Unsolved um, history. We're going to wrap this shit up, but uh, before we do, let's just run down the card with our predictions. Uh, I'll say the battle, and you very quickly say uh, who's going to win and uh, fucking one sentence why. 
And uh, for all you guys who want to go to this, this is uh, going to be at the New Caribbean City in Oakland, California. That's 1408 Webster Street. You can get all the information at kingofthedot.com backslash Alcatraz presale. Uh, you can buy tickets there, all sorts of good shit. Um, right off the bat, headlining the fucking card, uh, Caustic versus JC. Uh, I... I don't know yet. I JC. Gotta <laughs> I got to write this shit. Caustic. I'm, I'm going to say JC until I start writing. Yeah, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with <laughs> Caustic on this and say he's going to have to write a single bar before I can say he's going to win a battle. Um uh pass Fuck. pass versus Remy D. Oh man, you pass. know what? Yeah, like I I know Remy's coming off a hot one, but uh dude, I've, I've always been a fan of Pass's style and I think Pass and Pass in the Bay. And, and it's it's definitely in Oakland, and, and Pass has just been more consistent over overall. I think depends on what password shows up. Yeah. I remember being in the uh, in the fucking in the cab with him when we were in at Grizzlemania too, and we were going over to battle. Yeah, we were, like, both, we were both. We were both. And I was like, "What the fuck, man! Like this he is your." He spit it on the yeah, way to, on like, the way to the venue. I'm like this is the like, material oh, you got. You're gonna lose. You right can't now. tell him. You can't tell him. No, that. you can never tell someone that. Um, yeah. But if but Pass is also amazing. He's been amazing since he was like 16 yeah. in these fucking battles. So if he He's shows up, if too, Password like. shows up and it's the Bay, um, I don't know. That one's a toss up. I think Remy's really tight, so uh, hard to call. But I, I want to give it to Password since we're in the Bay. Yeah, I'm gonna lean towards Pass. Cadillac Ron versus Reverse Live. I love Reverse Live. I don't, honestly don't think anybody could beat Cadillac Ron right now. If if he goes to the dark side one more time, he'll never fucking win another battle nor be able to walk like a regular. I fully human agree. Again. But for right now, he's literally untouchable. You can't be right. I think I think Reverse Live will experience the Mummy Fashion Show yep. and its full exposure. And you have to go. And and he will go. Ron will be hemo raged out. It really just depends on as long as he can get I like his reverse. hands on some I, original formula. I advise I advise Reverse to uh to change it up, surprise somebody. You know what I mean. Do something unexpected. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, don't tell reverse anything. Hey. <laughs> Shut up. All I'm right. Uh, no, it'll be a good battle regardless. <laughs> Dirtbag Dan versus 100 Bullets. Uh, Dirtbag, man. Fuck, man. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to fucking do what I've been doing this last seven battles, and I think I've been fucking solid. Hopefully, uh, the audience is receptive. I've had a real fucking interesting experiences with audiences on this tour from, like, groups of thousands of people to fucking like 10 people in a fucking small <laughs> bar and like right. that i just realized that people are so fucking strange and different and battling has gone so far and like it's a whole new fucking i thing just there. i i you know what i mean like i'm a i have a very like timeless approach to battling let's see if it still works <laughs> I, I think i'm blacker than 100 bullets i think i think <laughs> maybe maybe blacker definitely not darker right yeah yeah okay, okay. um <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go with the adjective hood. <laughs> I'm going to say you're more hood than bullets. Hood. Uh, you're more hood than hood bullets. Hood with, with, with a U with the two the, dots the, over The H-U-D like an like on-screen display. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, uh, Fredo versus Pariah. Dude, uh, you know what? Uh, I, I'll, I think Fredo's going to bring the old shit back. I think he's going to catch I that think, thorough body? Yeah, I think Fredo's going to have a breakout performance thorough again. Body. And I think it's an people. uphill battle for Pariah. I yeah, think, I think Pariah. I've said this before. Pariah, like I don't know. Pariah what is amazing and so thoroughly unlikable Pariah, at the same time as a battle rapper. You're really good, but you're doing something that just something makes people wrong. People not are like, like people it. are like, God, I fucking, I just want to hate you. I don't like, understand. Even though you're writing well and you're delivering well, I just, I don't like it, and I don't like you for I'm, it. I'm gonna recommend Lino Rage. Just, Lino Rage. Just give it a shot. Lino Rage. It might balance it out. You know I what feel I mean? like... I co-signed that. Okay, all right. So, uh, we're, But we're all going with Fredo on that. Uh, dead Man versus Cocky. You know what? I'm a... Uh I like Dead Man. I, ch- I chop it up with Dead Man. I like Dead Man. But, uh, I'm, uh, I like Dead Man I'm a, a big, I'm a big cocky fan. I, think I like cocky. Dead Man. I think Dead Man's going to win. Yo, watch when you give your prediction, motherfucker. I like... <laughs> watch. Go I ahead. Like, I like Who's going to win? I think Cocky's going to win. I think Dead Man's going to win. Dead man. I'm going to go with dead man. Dead man. I think right. Cocky's got it. I think Cocky's going to bring the old school shit out. All right. Conscious Pilot versus Rum Nitty. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I know, a, that's some like battle for Arizona shit. I know who Conscious Pilot is, uh, and I think uh, if he comes with his proper shit, he can, he can catch a body. I'm going to say uh, Rum Nitty because I kind of like that name. He has Bay Area I think, roots. Uh, I think Conscious is going to go wild, honestly. Rum Nitty. Eric Foreman versus d don't we all win? Here's a be- here's a better question: Is Cadillac Ron just gonna fucking just white boy the fuck out of Eric Foreman just to let him know he's alive? It's possible. I was contemplating just spitting on people I don't like at this event and uh, and just choosing him not to someone like. Someone said, "Why don't anything. you like Foreman?" I said, "I never met Foreman." 
you know. But like, I'm gonna say this is that these kids just thinking they can fucking do what we do all of a sudden. Like, you know, we've been doing this shit forever. Like, just because you've been a, a fucking, you think you're not a participant because you've been a fucking spectator. You know, now you want to step in. Strong and words. Now, now you, Ron. Now you want to play <laughs> in a fucking. Sh- this is our fucking life. Ron is always, play with this always, fucking shit. I've always got along with Foreman. I yeah, I don't know the dude. I think he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. No, I don't know Foreman, but like one time, I think it was way. Maple Leaf came up to me at one of these events and made some comment to me, like he know me, and I was like, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't care if you moderate whatever fucking weird website, <laughs> fucking gay porn shit, fucking germ-free alien shit, fucking. <laughs> you don't fucking know me, bro. Don't act like you fucking know me. And whatever you say about me on the internet, fucking say it to my fucking face, you coward piece of shit. All right, then. I feel like uh, I feel like Eric Foreman could win because d Lore. Maple Leaf gonna, just got E. White Boyd right now. Gonna, he got E. White Boyd. I, I don't crazy. think that... Uh, I, Dude, dude rapping again. Huh? Maple Leaf definitely subscribes to this podcast, and he'll definitely be stoked that that he got. Uh, I don't right even know what Maple Leaf looks like. He, he anymore. looks he good because exactly he's gonna murder you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, dude. Maple Leaf's cool. Uh, um, uh, I'm gonna go with D. Lore though, and Foreman is cool too. We've been chopping it up in the Facebook chat or whatever. So oh. he's not just gonna spit on you for no reason. No, I, I think uh, I'm, I'm just I think being dramatic. In a, in a completely fucking un, not realistic but breakdown, I think. Uh, I think Foreman can write really well, but he's I don't think he's battled with somebody with the experience and like the, the delivery of Delor, so I don't know. It's it's a toss up really. I don't have enough background information on Foreman. At the call. height of my grind time management career, I actually set up a <laughs> Delor battle for rhetoric and Delor. So I actually, actually I love that battle. I love yeah. that like at the height of his grind time career, he was also like talking to dirt, like, Hey yo, bro, you're and the Bender. Next, you're the yeah. next big thing, bro. I'm gonna make <laughs> you would get so I'm high. Make, he would get hella like <laughs> and call all these battlers and then just tell him he's gonna make country. him a star and shit. I'm like, it's me and you, bro. I'm like, they they all think that other dude's really hot right now. I'm like but you're the future of this shit. <laughs> Things are going to be way different now that I just ate a thousand Suboxone. <laughs> but since Lush popped so many mollies, he decided to make me manager. <laughs> We're going to do it a little different out here. <laughs> like, oh, wait, How is this not a TV just show? Just wait till like... we get this corporate sponsorship money. All right, let's finish this off. Um, uh, Bonnie Godiva versus Germ Free. Germ free. If you listen to our advice, you have a chance. You can't lose. Germ free. Honestly, you could either win or uh, or you can't lose. Take One the, of the take two. Take the alien mile approach. Definitely great alien that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I you feel like uh, if you fucking if you just lay it all out there and and you don't dodge it like so much sperm from your ex boyfriend that you could really become the truth and fucking you might have like a serious future in this battle rap shit if you try and fucking twerk around it like your gray alien boyfriend did his nipples then you will never win and bonnie godiva is gonna fucking chew your soul up Ooh. and bonnie godiva Bonnie's, might Bonnie's just chew, nice she too. might just chew your soul up anyways you better just pull out a tit lick it and say uh you know yes i did dodge sperm from a gray alien he right. did twerk his nipples i didn't do it intuitively and just be realistic about it and, and you Keep put it, it all out there Keep and i'm gonna real. have so much more respect for you than I could possibly have respect for anyone who I've seen dodge a sperm load like that. Moving on. Tyler's like, all right, enough. (laughs) Um, Damn. uh, Isaac Knox versus Topper. Topper, man. Come on. That's a fucking... Nah, uh, Isaac, you better come next. with it. Isaac's a dope writer, but Isaac, you topper. better come with it. Hey, yo, nobody, nobody, you, under- nobody understands. <laughs> hey, Isaac type Knox, let me tell you something. Is. Isaac Knox, you fucking Christian piece of shit. <laughs> you think I give a fuck about you or Jesus? <laughs> Why don't you come pray with me, motherfucker? All right, we can take it there, bro. I'll throw holy water all over that motherfucking Christian motherfucker. He, dude, the rage is fucking is filling him, dude. Like, Isaac Knox, emo rage. Fuck Isaac Knox. You know what? I got a weird email, too, from Matt Ells the other day. Fucking <laughs> yes, please <laughs> read that, that out loud word yeah, for word. Saying that like oh. all my battles are being taken down from grind time. Oh, like, getting on. sued or some shit. And I are was you like, serious, fuck dude? Out of here, bro. Yeah. 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 Fuck. fuck all that bullshit. Yo, Isaac download Knox, that shit now, I'll dude. I'll see you in hell, Isaac <laughs> I'll see you in hell, Isaac Knox. Give a fuck about a Christian oh, rapper. Oh, hi, Isaac. I'm sorry about all this. Somebody download all my battles, please. Um, okay, everybody knows versus Joe Cutter. Somebody out there has sent it to me. I, I can't. Knox. I don't know. Who do you think is going to win everybody knows versus Cutter? Cutter. Cutter? Yeah, I mean, everybody knows, like, just spending a week with him on tour. Um, 
He's so unpredictable, man. He is so fucking unpredictable. He's a great writer, and when he wants to rap well, he's capable. But I think that Joe will probably... Joe also... It usually depends on which cutter shows up. This time, it definitely depends on which everybody knows shows up. I'm going to say like this. Joe successfully did Asian jokes on a Mexican guy for three rounds, so I think he can handle okay, an actual right. Fair Asian enough. Fair enough. Shouts situation. to Denter. Shouts to Denter, and you're constantly looking puzzled. But I you're, hope you're like man. I hope like disaster. You did EK beat me in a freestyle up. battle. That would be tight. Okay, so uh, and finally, um, probably yeah. the biggest battle on this entire card, and the reason that we're all going to come: uh, paid in cash versus foul father. Paid in cash is insane, fucking. I think foul father is really the future of this battle. Show. I don't know, I don't and know. if you've ever no, I've never seen him in my yeah. life. Man. I have no, no idea. but you know what's funny is no foul like, like, hey, like I haven't seen F-A-L. I haven't F-A-L. seen paid in cash battle, but I have like. Slept over at Lush's house when Payton and Cash was like battling fucking his drug and alcohol problem. Okay, all right. All right and uh, all right, like, all right. at nine in the morning when he was like doing battle with like a television, like I was like, yeah, man. I mean, he's capable. The schizophrenia. So uh, it's like, <laughs> it's there. Where, where's, it's real. Where is Foul Father from? Does anybody know? Shout no out idea. to Payton Cash. I have no that's, idea who that's he is. That's like a this. really openly like call me a child molester kind of name. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Foul father. You're like you were a foul father. It's like a Catholic priest villain. That sounds like <laughs> <laughs> foul father. I will rape you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it just it's definitely a name that just says like I fingered an eight year old or something. Oh, oh my god. What a great way to end this show. So this has been the weirdest episode of the Dirtbag Dan show I'm ever. I'm just saying. Like uh, uh, shouts out to Cadillac Ron for fucking yeah. coming out and getting emo raged out with us. Me and Tantrum drops tomorrow too. Um shouts out to, to Rape Wolf for being scared of the Lino Rage. And me and Caustic just like jumping, just jumping. There's wildly. nothing to be afraid of. Now you know. Yeah, I'll it's tell you, okay. man. The Lino it's Rage possible. is fun. You get that. You get that like blurry tunnel vision. Yeah. Nice. Focus. It's called focus. I'm here, but I'm not. It, it's yeah. from the Hooper Zine A. Uh, <laughs> shouts out to uh, our main sponsor uh, for the Dirtbag Dan Show, BCO Apparel. Once again, you'll be seeing me dipped up in some BCO Apparel fits uh, at the 100 Bullets Battle uh, and. Um, we're going to have some information uh, about how to get in touch with those cats if you like the gear on our website very soon. Um, we are on iTunes now. Please subscribe. Uh, you can get the episode for free. And uh, yeah, man, Dirtbag Dan Show. Uh, sorry we got to fucking charge a dollar, but otherwise we're just going to get raped by Ustream. Outside of that, you can watch this show for free on YouTube uh, Sometime. every Monday. And you could also... Uh, you can download the podcast and uh, subscribe and get it to your phone instantly the minute we upload it. All for free. We ain't trying to take your money. We just trying to live. Dirtbag Dan Show. God bless you. Good night. Woo! Duck work, baby.